State. All right, we have a doubleheader today, and the Golden Bears are led by their junior college transfer quarterback, Aaron Rodgers. We go tailgating when college football Saturday. The number three Trojans defensive unit has not allowed a rushing touchdown in the last 22 quarters. Cal coming off a win over Big Ten opponent, Illinois. A perfect day in Northern California. The tailgate party is well underway. It has been going on for hours for game one of our doubleheader featuring number three USC and Cal calling the game Steve Fiziak and Tom Ramsey. Thanks, guys. There's a new theme of the big wide receiver in college football, and everybody wants one. If you have one, he's big and he's fast. For USC, they've got one, and his name is Mike Williams. He's 6'5", 230 pounds. Well, they sure do, Steve. The true sophomore Mike Williams is really dominant at the line of scrimmage. He's dominant down the field. Matt Leinert, the new quarterback for USC, has found big number one. And I'll tell you, I'd get him the ball, too. 18 touchdowns in 16 games. He's scoring every 5.8 times. He touches the ball. He has seven career 100-yard games, two already in 2003. Steve, this guy can bring it to the house. More importantly, the run after catch, he's dominant. But even Mike Williams does not have the total yards that Jeff MacArthur of California has this year. Well, Jeff MacArthur's really having a nice year. 35 catches, over 600 yards, six touchdowns. And here's a guy who can get off the line of scrimmage, a nice swim move up the field. And he's played tough against Utah. He's played tough against Kansas State. He's had two different quarterbacks throw into him. And today, Aaron Rodgers, the young quarterback for the Cal Bears, has to come to him early and often if Cal hopes to have a chance today against a tough SC defense. Two big receivers, Williams, MacArthur. It's USA in California, 6.30 East Coast time, 3.30 in the West Coast. Let's go back to the studio. Steve, Tom, thank you very much. That's bottom of the hour. And they alluded to the USC defensive unit, and they will be all over, and I mean all over, Jeff MacArthur today. They've got a nickname for the defensive line in front seven. It's called the Wild Bunch <laughs> 2. Remember the movie back in, I think it was the 60s. You might, you were, you were. I don't remember. remember. I don't it's remember. not important. He wasn't even born at the time. But they are playing <laughs> outstanding defensive football, and it's all about getting pressure on the quarterback, creating havoc, and getting turnovers. Against the run, they're only giving up 1.9. Unbelievable stat. 1.9, Billy Ray, yards per carry. The defense is carrying this team right now. Now, if you're Aaron Rodgers and you're getting the start, it's your second career start, I mean, uh, is this really good news? Because i got to tell you, J.C.'s transfer coming in, second start, and you're playing against probably the most ferocious pass rush you're going to find in college football. Listen, I hope the kid can handle the heat, but uh, it, it might be a long day for Mr. Uh, Mr. Rodgers. Well, maybe he sought out the Matt Leinert and said, how did your first career start go at Auburn? Well, we'll find out. All right, bottom of the hour, highest-ranked team in action today, number three, USC at Cal. That's right here on Fox Sports Net. Second game of our Pac-10 doubleheader, number 24, Arizona State in Corvallis against Oregon State. The last time ASU lost to OSU, 1993. That game, 10 Eastern, 7 Pacific. Junior defensive tackle, number 84, Sean Cody. One of the anchors of the Trojans' defense, which is tops in the nation in sacks per game. A top 25 roundup and more when we continue on College Football Saturday kickoff. USC has won to count them nine 2002 bowl teams that Cal plays this season. Number three, USC at Cal. Bottom of the hour, USC with 11 straight wins. They're best streak since 1980. Berkeley tonight, number three USC <laughs> at Cal, the highest ranked team in the nation in action today. The band's on the field, and we are there live. Coming up next for the kickoff, Steve Fiziak, Tom Ramsey have the call. Today, USC rides into Bear territory to take on conference rival Cal. The third-ranked Trojans are taking their quest for the national championship seriously. In the air, they have two of the best pair of hands in the nation with Kerry Colbert and Mike Williams. The SCD has the stuff champions are made of, but beware of the sleeping bear. Cal likes to put points on the board with Jeff MacArthur emerging as a star. It's the Trojans and the Bears, and it's now. to the beautiful Bay Area of Northern California. The Cal fans welcome their Bears to Memorial Coliseum and the Bear 
fans believe they have a fine football team. But USC says, wait a second, we've got the number three team in the nation. Today on a college football Saturday presented by Kiyosara, it's the University of Southern California Trojans and the California Golden Bears. Everybody, I'm Steve Fiziak. This is Tom Ramsey. In 1969, the University of Southern California won the conference championship with a defensive line that called themselves the Wild Bunch. Well, 34 years later, they've got a defensive line that they feel is just as good, and they call themselves Wild Bunch too. Are they good enough to lead USC to an outright Pac-10 championship? Well, I like the nickname number one, and it's one element, Steve. You gotta have if you have a championship football team. The experts say you gotta have a run game, and you got to be able to stop the run and what the front four the USC Trojans have been able to do to everyone they've played so far is completely shut them down at the line of scrimmage and they've done it with four guys and the guy leading the way is the return of Sean Cody the defensive tackle he played six games a year ago he hurt his ACL he was out the remainder of the season he's back now just his leadership alone and this week in practice Pete Carroll said he had his best week yet expect him to make some plays today Pete Carroll their coach says those four Four guys have to get to the quarterback, and Jeff Tedford believes in his quarterback that replaces the great Kyle Bowler, Aaron Rodgers. Well, we have two really well-coached teams today, and Jeff Tedford brings an offense that is an attacking style of offense and leading the way as a quarterback. Aaron Rodgers, who had his first start a week ago against the University of Illinois, it was a road win for them. He put up 263 yards passing. Expect him to distribute the ball today to all his receivers, especially Jeff MacArthur, their big play guy. It's the first conference game of the year for the University of Southern California and the California Golden Bears. Let's go back to the studio. Steve Fiziak, thank you. Welcome back inside our College Football Saturday studios. Alongside the Hall of Famers, Kellen Winslow, Billy Ray Smith, I'm Mike Goldberg. Let's get you caught up in the Pac-10 Conference, and a catch-up is going to be needed for Oregon. They are being overwhelmed. Seven turnovers, four fumbles, three interceptions, all in the first half. Washington and Stanford is a close game. Reggie Williams having a big day. Yeah, I think that you have to hook your wagon to your big horse, and that's Reggie Williams. He's going he's gonna to be the deciding factor in this game. We'll keep you updated on that one throughout the day. Four other games tonight in the Pac-10 Conference, including the second game of our doubleheader. Arizona State trying to rebound from scoring two points against Iowa against Oregon State. That is later tonight. Kellen, let's get back to the Oregon game, though. And you and I talked about it off camera. How difficult for a football team to get back up after a game in which they dominated the Michigan Wolverines? It's all about emotion. It's all about hype. Let's talk about the Sports Illustrated cover story uh -huh. on Oregon. You talk about the jinx there. You talk about all the national attention that Oregon is back. They're playing great defense. Just makes you ripe for a, a, a loss. And that's, what, that's what's going on in this ball game right now. Oregon is ripe with those green uniforms to be picked <laughs> off by Washington State. I tell you, Billy Ray, it just, just set up right for it. It is. And, but you got to give uh, Bill Doba a lot of credit. Washington State head coach, they come off that heartbreaking loss to Notre Dame. And the team comes back, stomps on Colorado, and then beats New Mexico, comes into this game. And you know what? They weren't awed. They weren't impressed with all that noise. They just went out there and took care of business. Washington State is a very talented football they team. Are. Basically, what you're saying, both you guys, is all about emotion, and the emotion rebound for Washington State continues to roll, and they are rolling against Oregon. Sophomore sensation, wide receiver, Mike Williams, one of the most lethal targets in college football today. He's helped the Trojans offense to 16 straight games of 20 points or more. Number three, USC at Cal. The kickoff is forthcoming. Welcome back to College Football Saturday, brought to you by Keo Serra. The last time Cal beat a top five ranked opponent in 1975, and it was these guys, USC. Cal's five losses a year ago by an average of seven points. And Billy Ray, Cal has been a very, very busy football team up to this Pac-10 opener. You're absolutely right. They've played five games. Their season started August 23rd, but when you look at Jeff Tedford's plan, it makes a lot of sense. They only had nine starters coming back, Kellen. Jeff Tedford wanted to get these guys battle ready, and really five preseason games is the best way to do it. Yeah, they need that extra ball game. The key to day in the ball game against USC for Cal is to throw the ball down the field. You got to get some big plays and special teams play. You got to steal one or two of those turnovers. And avoid the wild bunch, too, because they will be <laughs> swarming today. Our doubleheader set to, to begin. Game. We'll see you later on the Nissan Halftime Report. Full update on the Pac-10. We'll go around the nation. Right now, Jeff MacArthur wants to keep the numbers going. Number three, USC at Cal. Steve Fiziak, Tom Ramsey, opening kickoff is next.
It's a college football Saturday presented by Kiyosara. Jeff Tedford and California has upset on the mind. USC begins Pac-10 play in its annual race for the Roses, but California hopes to throw a roadblock in the Trojans' path. And Steve. USC won the toss, Tom. They deferred to the second half. Cal will receive the football to start this game. Well, you mentioned the Rose Bowl. I rode up the elevator today with some of the Rose Bowl tournament committee. They're here I, already. I said, are you just taking a practice trip? And they said, <laughs> no, this is actually for real. Great. Well, here is Ryan Colleen to kick off the 5'11 junior from Norco, California. He will be kicking off deep to James Bathia and J.J. Errington. From the 20-yard line, they'll bring it past. And California will start their offense out past the 25 yard line. Let's check out our Kiyosara starting lineup. Aaron Rodgers is the quarterback, the 6'2 sophomore from Chico, California. He has thrown for over 600 yards this year and four touchdowns. He's thrown 79 passes without an interception. Adam Chinobe at Chimandu is the terrific running back, 345 yards rushing this year, averaging over five yards per carry and three touchdowns. And this is a veteran offensive line. Mark Wilson has started four straight years. Jonathan Diesel has started two straight years. Nolan Blunser, the center, has started three straight. MacArthur goes motion. And immediately California stumbles out of the gate on their very first play. The Kiyosara defense. This is the Wild Bunch 2. Desi, Patterson, Cody, and Nazel. The linebackers Lofa Tutupu, the son of Mosi, has been terrific. Matt Grudigan had two sacks in last year's USC victory. And this is a fine defensive backfield. Pool is one cornerback who is a senior. But a transfer from Boston College, and he has won the job. Jason Leach, an outstanding free safety. And here goes California. Echimandu out past the 50 yard line to the 45 to the 44. A 36 yard run on the second play of the game for California. Well, Steve, you saw in the first play, the defensive line really made the play. They pushed the center back into the quarterback, but watch the offensive line make a crease right here. Echimandu just hits it going full speed. He puts a nice little move that time on Darnell Bing. The strong safety picks himself up an additional 10 yards. That's a nice run. And that is something that no one's been able to do against the University of Southern California defense. Yeah. They're number one against the rush, averaging just 50 yards per game to an opponent. 36 on that one play by California. And they're only giving up 1.9 yards a rush. They fake to Echimondo and run the reverse. Vinny Strain. Vinny Strain gets about five yards on the carry. Well, this is the little razzle-dazzle that you'll see from Jeff Tedford, who was a fine offensive coordinator at Oregon. You know what I like about it, Steve? It's not the fact that they gained four yards on that play. It's the fact that they ran a reverse. And now you have the element of surprise always in the back of the head of the USC defenders. Take a look at Jeff Tedford on the sideline, 9-8 and eight as Cal head coach. Remember, they were 1-10 in 2001. And then it was quite the turnaround last year going 7-5. and five. Now on second down, six yards to go. Echimandu past the 40-yard line, needs to get to the 35 for a first down. So this will make it third down and two. Well, on USC sideline, Pete Carroll has built a power again in L.A. after a two and five start in his first year at Troy. Carroll has led the Trojans to 18 wins in their last 21 games, including a three and zero start this year and number three ranking in the nation. You know, people forget he started out two and five. I know there's a lot of heat down in L.A. on Carl Durrell, the head coach of UCLA. He's one and two and doing radio shows this week. I said, hey, remember, Pete Carroll started off two and five. He's gone 18 and three since then, but it takes a while, a little period of adjustment. Well, they've got it going, and now California trying to score on the wild bunch two. They get the first down and streaking towards the goal line. Burl Toller's knocked out of bounds near the 10. Burl Toller, the junior from 
Cushabo down high school here in the East Bay goes for 21 yards and a first down. Hey Steve, simple throw, simple catch, more importantly, simple pass pattern. They're not trying to do a whole lot of crazy things, but watch Toller ends up coming out here just in the flat. Two defenders miss the tackle. They just flat out misplay the receiver. They don't take the correct angle. They don't get him out of bounds. Bing has to push him out of bounds after a big gain, and they're knocking on the door. They mark him out at the 16-yard line. MacArthur goes to the right side, to the left, is Strang. Rodgers to throw. Plenty of time. Rips it to the end zone. Incomplete. But right into the hands of the big tight end, Brandon Hall. If he holds on, it's either first and goal or it's six points. Boy, I tell you, you know, it's one of these West Coast offenses. Well, look at the fullback, okay? Look, no one's near him. And Aaron Rodgers, the young quarterback, trying to stick it in to the tight end trying to get the bigger play Steve and sometimes if you just take what the defense gives you you can line up and have another down and, and right now it's second and ten you got to appreciate the fact he's being aggressive second down USC has not allowed a touchdown in the first half this year Rodgers will run the delay at Jamondo with a fine carry past the 15 yard line but he'll still wind up about six seven shy of the first down marker. Well the USC defense has not given up a rushing touchdown at all this season. That's how tough they are against the run. Led by Lofa Tatupu 1.9 yards allowed per rush. None in the last 22 quarters. No 100 yard rusher allowed in the last 16 games. Where's been the run for the other teams, huh? Well, I think Jeff Tedford wants to make sure California comes up with points. He spreads them out. Three-step drop, and they complete the pass for a first and goal inside the five-yard line to Jeff MacArthur. Steve, you know what that was right there? That was just Jeff MacArthur having position on Marcel Almond. Marcel Almond had pretty good position, but they just kind of played basketball. MacArthur snuck in, 35 catches, six, over 600 yards. Big game a week ago, too, against Illinois. He had a career best 10 catches for 155 yards and a score versus the Illini. But right now, you got first down inside the five. They'll send McConan and Toler wide to the right side. One lone setback, and that's the fullback, Chris Mandarino. Rodgers on the quarterback keeper. Dives, is he in? Yes, he is. Cal takes the early lead. And they're going to get him the score, even though the ball came out. He crossed the plane to the goal line, Steve. And Rodgers, he's a big kid, too. I was down on the field before the game. 6'2", 200-pounder, quarterback draw, lead blocker with a fullback. Oh, Grudegood got a great hit on him, too. Man, Matt Grudegood plays outside linebacker as well as any linebacker in the country. Really tagged Rodgers. Is the first touchdown run allowed in 22 quarters against the University of Southern California defense? Tyler Fredrickson with the point after, and they're going crazy on the Bears sideline. That is brought to you by Kyocera, the new value frontier. By Nissan and your local Nissan dealer. By Napa Auto Care Centers. Napa, get the good stuff by T-Mobile. Get more minutes, more features, more service. And today's first down line is brought to you by Net Zero High Speed Internet. Surf the web up to five times faster. California has scored first on a run by their quarterback Aaron Rodgers and USC's defense so strong to start the season. Everybody saying they're among the top five in the nation, but they are pushed back. And here goes Reggie Bush, a sprinter from San Diego, flags all over the place, and Bush is tackled at the 37 yard line. But this will be coming back because there are like three flags around an area where there was either holding or clipping an illegal block, you name it. Yeah, when there's 18 flags that come out, there's you know five referees. <laughs> we got we got it. We got a challenge here. We got a problem. Gordon Reese, referee. 89. Holding, holding against USC. 29. 
I was just going to say to Steve, one of the things that Cal has improved quite a bit is in their special teams. And both Cal and USC have really put emphasis on their special teams. They both play awfully well. More importantly, both teams, the least penalized, two least penalized teams in the Pacific 10 Conference. Well, USC down 7 nothing early in this game. They know they can't make very many mistakes. The keys. USC's wild bunch crushing the young quarterback, but it didn't work on the first drive as Cal just ripped the football down the field. Now the Kyocera starting lineups for the University of Southern California, led by their quarterback, the sophomore from Santa Ana Mater Day High School, Matt Leinert, has thrown for six touchdowns and three interceptions this year. He has fine running back in Herschel Dennis, 177 yards, averaging close to four yards per carry. Williams and Colbert are all American wide receivers Williams with 18 career touchdown catches and this is a veteran offensive line Jacob Rogers a three year starter Lenny Vandermeer a four year starter Norm Katnick the center three year starter the Trojans are riding an 11 game winning streak that includes six straight conference wins and five away from home. So now they'll have a challenge but they had a challenge down at the Coliseum in Los Angeles last year when they fell down 21 to 3 and rallied to win 30 to 28. Let's give you the California defensive lineups brought to you by Kiyosara. This is a marvelous defensive line faced by Lorenzo Alexander who's their run stuffer. The linebackers are Brian Tremblay in the middle or Sid Slater will replace him today and Wendell Hunter is the real slasher who has 40 tackles already this season 15 in last week's victory over Illinois and the defensive backs Harrison Smith is in there and Donnie McCleskey has five and a half sacks this year in just five games that's already a California school record for sacks by a defensive back and, and Steve I, I got to tell you you know Donnie McCleskey the rover back a Cal he's such a great defensive back you know he was a running back in high school played at Bishop Amon he was the San Gabriel Valley player of the year rushed for a ton of yards over 2200 yards. 29 touchdowns and he's one of the best football players on the field offense or defense Bob Gregory said he has smarts that really has instincts of where that ball is going well, here goes Matt Leiner first down from his own 19 yard line they'll run Herschel Dennis and Dennis slashes for a couple out past the 20 to the 22 yard line a gain of three it will be second down and seven Steve one of the Things I was talking to Norm Chow, the offensive coordinator of USC, before the game. I asked him, I said, is this the kind of game where you can let the defense kind of take control? Maybe, maybe emphasize the run a little bit more since they had such good success a year ago versus the Cal Bears. He said, yeah, we'll probably stick with the run a little bit more, but I, I wonder if that first drive that Cal had changes his mind at all. Well, after a slow start last year, Silton McCullough ran for 176. Dennis. Flashes through to about the 16 yard line. They'll still need three more for the first down. Wendell Hunter on the tackle. And there is Herschel Dennis, the sophomore from Long Beach Poly High School. He is averaging almost four yards per carry, but we saw the Trojan running backs break out against Hawaii. Both, well, I shouldn't say both, it was four guys. It was Dennis, it was Reggie Bush, it was Lindell White, and Chauncey Washington. Washington will not play because of injury. Right, he didn't make the trip, but you will see all the back you just mentioned third down for Matt Leiter one man covering Mike Williams trouble for Harrison Smith Leiter backs up he'll throw to the right side and there's a misread there Colbert went across the line but the pass missed him so badly and I wasn't sure if Mike Williams should have cut in he went deep for the sideline and Steve Bob Gregory's defense got just what they wanted they got some pressure on Matt Leiter they were able to get some push on the pocket put them in a third down situation but you know when SC has to punt they bring on one of the best kickers in the nation number two in the nation Tom Malone who's just knocking the heck out of the ball. Benny Strang standing at his own 25 yard line he brought a punt back for a touchdown earlier this season. He has terrific speed and Tom Malone delivers and booms one inside the 20. Not enough hang time giving Strang a chance to get good field position out near the 35 yard line. 55 yards on the blast by Tom Malone, who is second in the nation in punting, a long return of 16 yards. We'll be right back with Cal leading 7 0.
A big welcome to Fox Sports Net New England as we have a college football Saturday game brought to you by Keo Serrett's number three USC against California. Steve Fiziak, Tom Ramsey with you. And California taking it right down the field in their first possession. Aaron Rodgers, the quarterback, scoring a touchdown and a keeper. Can I say go Pats and go Red Sox? There you go. There you have it. Rodgers dumping it up right side to Garrett Cross, his tight end, who he had at Butte Junior College. There is a flag down in the field, but they think Cross can be an outstanding tight end in this conference. Yeah, they were teammates at Butte College, Steve, and it appears to be a hold on the Cal Bears. They like Cross. He's a big kid. Caught 39 passes last year at Butte JC and Chico. 590 yards, Off 10 touchdowns. 10 yards from the end of the run. Still first down. I said a moment ago that both Cal and USC, the two least penalized teams in the Pac-10, that just goes to their discipline and how well they play the whole game. I mean, offense, defense, special teams. If you're not turning the ball over and you're not creating silly penalties, you actually got a pretty good opportunity moving the ball up and down the field. Both these teams do a good job of doing just that. You talked about mistakes. In 2001, they were minus 17 in turnovers, and they won one game. Last year, they're plus 18, and they win seven games. That's right. On first down and long, they'll run at and this time Sean Cody wraps him up. Big number 84, He's a defensive tackle you featured in pregame. There he is. He wears SC on his side for Southern California and for Sean Cody. Take a look. Matt Grudegood reads the play as well as anybody out on the field. He's like Donnie McCleskey, Steve, on the Cal side. Matt Grudegood is just a playmaker. And granted, he's got four great players in front of him. First team all Pac-10 a year ago as a sophomore. Pete Carroll raves about it, but every game we work, the guy's all over the field making double-digit tackles. Second and 16. Rodgers looking. Everyone's covered, and Rodgers sneaks away. Gains about two or three yards, but it still will be third down and very long, about 14, 15 yards to go. And, and Mike you know Patterson with the pressure and the tackle, big number 99. Two things on that. One, there's that dominant defensive line again. Mike Patterson, bull rushes. Boy, he's playing well. But Aaron Rodgers, Steve, saves the day right there. Even though they don't gain anything, it's not like a shoot him in the foot play where you just take this huge loss. At least they got a shot at a first down, third and 14. Yeah, we saw Jared Lorenzen earlier today make a terrible decision for Kentucky in their loss to Florida. Florida scored 21 unanswered points to come from behind and beat the Wildcats. And here is the toss. They will not get the first down. Come up about two yards shy as the catch is made by Jeff MacArthur. Steve, one of the things here, what they're able to do just by completing this ball is they're able to get up the field and gain some necessary yardage for Tyler Fredrickson, the punter, to give him a little bit more of that field position game. I mean, if you're going to punt it away, gain some yards before you do, so it's a good job even though they came up short. We have two young quarterbacks in Aaron Rodgers and Matt Liner, but you told me you can win a lot of games with an outstanding defense and a strong punter. Yep. And here he goes, Tyler Fredrickson. Both teams have very good punters. Carlson gets away from the tackle, goes down at the 25-yard line. I have no idea how he held on because there was no halo violation. But if there was, that would have been one. It's 7-0 California, but the Trojans have the football when we come back. has the lead on an Aaron Rodgers touchdown. The NFL returns to Fox on Sunday with a doubleheader beginning with America's number one pregame show as J.B., Terry, Howie, and Jimmy get you ready for kickoff. Then the 49ers take on a Vikings team trying to stay undefeated. And the Cowboys battle the Jets as Bill Parcells faces his old team for the first time. Coverage begins tomorrow at noon Eastern, 9 Pacific on Fox. Harry Colbert with the catch up near a first down at the 35 yard line. Matt Leiner completes his first pass of the day. We've already had a wild day in the Pac-10 conference as Washington State goes to Oregon. And Oregon must be suffering a Michigan hangover because they're getting <laughs> rubbed by the Cougars. You said they were reading their own press clippings earlier. They must have been. And Man. how about Washington? They barely survived beating Stanford 28-17. Who knows what will happen today with USC and Cal? 
control your home turf. Mike Williams, he simply did not look the football into his chest. Some thought it might be a lateral, but that should be an incomplete pass. Mike Williams had a tough game against Kansas State last year that cost Pete Carroll certainly a chance at a national championship. Yeah, that's that's what I thought, Steve. Gordon Reese finally came on. It was a forward pass. It went incomplete. I didn't even think it was close to being and, a lateral. And, and I'm not sure what the line judge was thinking. There was a lot of miscommunication down there amongst the referees. Pete Carroll down there in the line linesman's ear. I don't blame him. I mean, you can see it's an incomplete. Williams now goes to the left side. Kerry Colbert to the right. And Reggie Bush is the lone setback. And you got to get Williams the ball. Well, they're going to go Kerry Colbert's way. And Colbert is well covered by James Bethia. And now there is a flag down. Damian Hughes was in that area also. And there is a flag down. You know, Steve, I, I think what they should do is wave the flag off. I think they're going to call interference on Kerry Colbert. Watch, there's a little jostling at the end of the play. Colbert just gave the back. The defensive back a little push Dante Hughes he's a true freshman you ought to give him a push there is no flag on the play oh. the pass was uncatchable See, I told you. therefore by nope, rule they did the right thing they waved it off it will be third down they waved it off incidental contact is incidental contact when, when the referee threw the fight he was going to call it on Kerry Colbert for pushing the young freshman but you got to haze the freshman a little bit you got it and they That's do just the that. Plus, it's Hughes' first career start. He likes to be called Dante. His crew name, Damien Hughes, a true freshman from L.A. Crenshaw High School. Now on third down and ten, Mike Williams at the bottom of your screen. He is the All-American candidate at 6'5", 230. Liner is a blitz on. Liner throws underneath to his tight end, Dominic Bird. It is incomplete. Let's send you to our College Football Saturday studio for a Kyocera game break. Steve, tough season continues for Joe Paterno and Penn State. After the loss to number 24, Minnesota, Joe Pot tears in to the referee. Oh, my goodness. He is very disappointed at halftime. He is not pleased at all as number 24, Minnesota, wins. Penn State, 2-3. and three. Wow. The Lions, 2-3. and three. Tell you what, <laughs> and Joe Pa is angry. Well, Pete Carroll's oh. a little angry as Cal blocks the punt. And California will have great field position. Tom Malone, one of the top punters in the nation, hammered by Brandon Hall, the tight end. Harrison Smith, number 11, the du duplicate number, Steve. Harrison Smith, who is also a defensive back. Watch him come right up the middle. Gets the block on Tom Malone. And man, I'll tell you what. Jeff Tedford said this to us. He said, if we have, if we are going to go out and win the game, we got to take advantage of every opportunity that comes our way. Right there, blocking a punt. And that's one of the best punters in the country, folks. That's not just a punter. That's a guy who can turn field position in a quick way against you. But right there, that's a huge play by Cal. It doesn't count as a turnover, but it's as good it's as a turnover. turnover. You bet. You bet. It is a turnover. Harrison Smith with the block punt. Now California, great field position at the USC 28-yard line. Etchemandu is the running back. Play action pass. And Grudegood all over Rodgers. And down goes Aaron at the 34. Cody was in his face as well. There is Grudegood, number six, who is blitzing from the right side. And, and Steve, again, this is an all-out. This is an all-out blitz. Grudegood comes from the outside just on a crash. And they try to set up the pocket away. Okay, they'll change the launch point many times. Cal, you know, you just can't drop straight drop back anymore. You gotta turn protect, you gotta change the launch point. Cal and Jeff Tedford do a great job of that, but boy, when you're given the short field, the defense steps up like that. That's a big advantage for them. Grudigan right now playing out in space. 
Second and 16. They rush again. Strong. And this is Etchemondu or J.J. Arrington. And Arrington slugged down at the 31. Fumble on the play. USC has it. Arrington had a critical fumble last week in their victory over Illinois at the three-yard line. And he turns it over, much to the dismay of Jeff Tedford. Steve, I think Will Poole. Oh, no. Marcel Almond, the corner. Man, he put his shoulder pad right on the ball. Ball came out. That's what the SC defense has done repeatedly well this year. They've caused a lot of turnovers. Turnover margin, they're number two, number three in the country. Plus two margin, and, and that's how you win ball games. You just, you know, all of a sudden Cal has a short field, but lo and behold, Cal just comes right back. Today's first down line is brought to you by Net Zero High Speed Internet. Leinert will send Colbert in motion on first down from their own 31. Dennis. Nothing. Alexander is there. Tom Svercek. And the two defensive tackles wrap them up. Regular leaderboard. Most takeaways in the NCAA the last three seasons. There is USC with 81. And you talk about an attacking style. They were plus 32 last year, plus 14 in 2001. That's Pete Carroll's style. Both Pete Carroll's defense and Jeff Tedford's Bob Gregory defense, they teach their guys to strip that football, to go after the football. Colbert, wide open. Colbert, first down midfield. Nice wrinkle that time by the Trojans. Getting Kerry Colbert the ball on a quick, easy throw. Really a little hitch pass, and then you got the big kid out in front, Mike Williams, getting a block on the corner. Ryan Gutierrez having to come over and make a play. Well, there is Kerry Colbert, and he is chasing Kareem Kelly for the all-time lead in most catches at USC. He has 148 coming into this ball game, sixth on the all-time USC list. Kareem Kelly was, was 56 from Kareem when the game started. Now Reggie Bush, short gain of about three yards to the 47-yard line in Golden Bear territory as SC has cracked inside that 50. And Kerry Colbert catching a pass and now 27 consecutive games, Steve. So he's a guy that's a go-to guy, even though you got Mike Williams across the way from him. Two really solid guys because we asked Bob Gregory, hey, what do you do to you? Do you double team Mike Williams, but now all of a sudden you got a single on Colbert. Both those guys down here at the bottom. Well, they're going to drop the zone. Now they'll blitz the safety, and they had Williams in single coverage. Now he'll try and go deep. They'll throw it that way, but Williams simply needed to be about seven feet eight inches tall to have a chance at that football. Well, he can go up that high, that's for sure. Liner just got his timing thrown off. Colbert. Got blinded by a linebacker in coverage. He was trying to get the ball to Kerry Colbert just on a deep curl. I like the fact, you know, when you're, you know, when you're covered, though, as a receiver, take off, go up the field, and Liner seeing Williams right away. Right now, third and eight facing the Trojans. I would think, Steve, they would go. They would try to get the ball to Williams. He's on the inside this time. He's playing the inside slot. Okay? Try to get number one the ball over the middle. He cuts to the middle. There he is. First down. 27-yard line. Mike Williams. Now, I'm not in their playbook, but all things indicate to me Mike Williams hasn't gotten enough touches yet. So you got to get the big fellow the rock. All right? So number one lines up. He lines up in the slot. Nice break. Flatten it out just a little bit for the quarterback. Nice throw. Nice catch. Reggie Williams, he scores every six times he touches the ball. Well, that was number one in this ball game. He yeah. actually touched it twice, should have right. caught the football and dropped it. Williams will come far right in the slot. Terry Colbert. See if they sweep right side, they'll run. Now they'll run the flea flicker, and Liner going left side to a wide open Dominic Bird, but it is overthrown. We saw Washington State do that earlier today and get a touchdown against Oregon. 
Steve, as well as Matt Leinert's playing. And through three games, watch the pitch back right there. Herschel Dennis says, nice job, little flea picker. You just can't miss a player that wide open. And through three games, believe it or not, Norm Chow and I were talking before the game, and he told us on the call the other day, Matt Leinert has better numbers after three games than Carson Palmer, the first pick in the NFL draft had after three games last year. But I guarantee you, Carson Palmer didn't miss guys wide open. And certainly not in their comeback against California down at the L.A. Coliseum. Leinert overthrows Gary Colbert. It will make it third down and ten to go. So Leinert and three for ten for 49 yards. And, and Steve, that time, even though he threw the ball to Colbert, the guy he had open in the corner was Mike Williams. Well, this is what you were talking about, yeah. Norm Chow. 60% for Liner to 58 for Palmer through three games. The touchdown passes, he had doubled that. But now he's in conference play. And this is where Carson Palmer won the Heisman Trophy last year, particularly the games to remember played in November, and that's when he sparkled. Liner down the middle, wide open, Dominic Bird, touchdown. And that's the efficiency. You put up numbers against Carson Palmer. You, you see the numbers, okay, in black and white. And all of a sudden, even though he missed a guy a couple plays ago, he fires a bullet. Watch this. They just have, watch Bird. He's going to just come on in here. Liner leads him to the middle, Steve. That's as good a throw. He, you know, and I got to tell you, on the outside, I'll tell you the reason why they held the safety outside that time. Steve Smith, the young freshman from Taft High School, was the outside receiver that time. He ended up keeping the safety wide, so it created a nice seam. All of a sudden, Bird comes up with his nice touchdown reception. Showed a good speed that time, too. For Dominic Bird, it is his first touchdown of the year. And they miss Alex Holmes. He replaced the injured Alex Holmes, likely out for the season. That was his first touchdown of his career. Great Gunther, the other tight end that rotate rotates in there. Gunther, big target too, 6'8, 245. Colleen's point after touchdown ties the game. It's the University of Southern California 7 and California 7. USC scores to tie the game on a pass to Dominic Bird. The Nissan scoring drive shows they went eight plays, 69 yards after the fumble. 2.07 came off the clock, and Dominic Bird, the tight end, scores his first college touchdown. California on the return. James Bathia out near the 20 yard line. There's a flag down in the field. Steve, you know, what, you know what players find out in college football when you try to go to the sideline and you try to outrun people? You can't do it. Angle. You can't do it. The angles always get you back. Gordon Reese. Another penalty. So the foul will be against USC, so let's see if Cal wants to return it. I mean, California led the Pac-10 last year in kick return average 24 and a half yards per return, but remember they had Jamil bringing them back. The great defense. The kicking team was offside. That's a five yard penalty. California has chosen to re kick the ball. You know, I never understand. It's an offside on the kicking team, but it's not the standard offside signal. It's, it's like a procedure signal, but it's an offside. It just means that they got to, they may have to re kick. I'm sure Tedford already, the fact that they're kicking from the 20 after the penalty on the extra point, they're going to go back even farther. California had the football at the 20-yard line. They've got a chance to have marvelous field position. This could be a penalty that results in about 25, 30 yards. Yep. Yeah, it really does. And all of a sudden, you've, you've given away a bunch of yards. Kicking off from the 15-yard line now. Now Cal's return man is standing at his 20-yard line. Does not have a super strong leg. I would even almost bring out Tom Malone, who has the stronger of the two legs, Steve, because you don't need a pretty kickoff, you just need a deep kick. Nice hang time. But 
Villa at his 16. Past the 30. Past the 40 to the 42 yard line. So that penalty results in 22 yards. As Cal is trying to score their first win over a top five team in 28 years. Who was the opponent in 1975? How about USC? Joe Roth and Chuck Muncie led the Bears to a 28-14 upset here in Berkeley. Oh, come on, Steve. Break out the disco ball. Come on. Come on, you gotta like the tunes, man. How about that? Disco Tom. 1975. Last time Cal upset a top five team. And of course, this game dedicated to the late great Joe Roth, quarterback that played for the Bears in 75 and 76. Now Echamanda will run and a short carry about two, three yards, but one more flag will go flying. I'm liking the music. I'm wondering if our producer Kyle Rashley could bring it back. I'm just a little background music. Well, you saw Kyle with the bell bottoms on today and the flower shirt. That's right. That's right. Yeah. He's in the mood to come to Berkeley. I thought it was just. I thought it was just being in Berkeley. Dinner. Yeah. Well, USC will try and stiffen their defense. They have been so great at forcing turnovers into points. They forced a fumble by California. They drove 69 yards to tie the game. Penalty will go against USC. It will be first down and five offsides against the Trojans. In the front four just so dominant for the Trojans, Steve, able to push the pocket around. At Chimandu, pass midfield. At Chimandu to the 42 yard line of USC. Gruda good making the tackle, but they're getting great surge from the interior of that offensive line. Blunzer, Giesel, O'Callahan, Murphy, and Wilson. That's five carries now for 55 yards for that young man. And Jamandu, five carries, 55. Watch, they block down, they seal right there. It's kind of a crazy drawing I made, but big left tackle. Wilson came down, blocked down, and they just really pushed the pile well that time. Trying to control that front four of USC. MacArthur and McCone both to the right. Rogers will throw left to Toler, and Toler breaks free again. Toler inside the 31st down, California. Oh, a late flag, too, Steve. Late flag. Not sure. I don't know if it was a taunting foul, possibly on the. Cal Bears. I was just going to compliment the Cal offense, so just quick rhythm throws. You don't, ain't no chance of taking a sack. Dead ball. Illegal contact with a helmet on the defense. Half the distance to go from the end of the run. Automatic first down. Illegal contact with the helmet. So let's take a look at the end of the play here. Okay, I didn't. I didn't well, that's just, he was kind of flying in late. They're going to tag, they're going to tag number 91, Van Brown. Although that wasn't contact with his helmet. It looked like he got pushed on top of the player. Hey, it's football, man. It's contact, okay? Meantime, Rodgers is having a terrific start. Six for seven, 66 yards. And now he will roll towards the right side. Put back left. Tight end cross with the catch inside the 10 yard line. Man, Tedford's bringing out the bag of tricks early in this game. And Steve Aaron Rodgers, he got rocked that time too. But I got to tell you, he is a big, strong dude. Again, finding his old JC teammate cross. A nice, safe throw. A little wide cross, a little tight end cross underneath. That'll beat man or zone. But again, they changed the launch point. They moved the quarterback behind the right tackle. Give him a little more time to throw. This time Cal going three wide outs to the top of the screen. They'll run Echimondo as they spread them out. And Echimondo inside the five-yard line to the four. Mike Patterson on the tackle. But right now Cal opening huge holes against this terrific USC defense. You know, we talked to Jeff Tedford, and, and we talked to him about formationing. And hey, what do you do against a good defense? you got to kind of pull them apart, right? Well, yeah, but right there they show trips. And you know how aggressive Cal can be down in the red zone. They'll throw the ball very likely, but that time trips and then run the ball inside. Pretty darn good way to, to mix it up. Again, the same formation, three wideouts up top. Echimondo hammers the middle, past the three, past the two. 
down. There may have been a fumble, but it appears like Echimandu got it back. Omar Nazel was at the bottom of the pile tackling Echimandu. Fine running back from Hawthorne High School in Los Angeles area. Born in Lagos, Nigeria, and came to Cal with the name Joe Echima. But he wanted to go with his name. Adam Chinobi Echimandu. His last two years in college in Echimandu having a marvelous season. He's over 400 yards rushing now in the team's first five and a half games. They're going to measure. I, I think they got the first down, Steve. They ran the same play. Just two, hammered it right over the plays. Nolan Bunts are their center. Yep. Yep. First down, Cal. Goal to go. And Echimandu gives them that, that big, strong back up the middle. Of course, last year they had Joe Igbert. Joe ran for 1,130 yards. A lot of people thought they would lose a lot when Joe left. But Echimandu, who had missed two years, one for academics, one because of the knee injury, came back healthy this year and in great shape. Yeah. He has fired off that football. And, and, and he's that bigger version of Joe Igbert, the, the pride and soul of Hawaii. Joe Igbert, <laughs> remember Tommy Holmo saying anywhere he went in Hawaii, Everyone asked about Joe Hickman. At Jumondo complaining, hey, there's a little extracurricular. California says, we're number one. We're beating number three. Right now it's 7 7. We start the second quarter here at the Memorial Coliseum in Berkeley, California. Cal surprising USC taking their first drive all the way down the field and scoring. USC taking advantage of a Cal fumble and marching 69 yards to tie it up. Now Cal with a first and goal. They're at the three yard line of the University of Southern California. Echimandu will get the carry. Echimandu with the body lean to the one yard line, and then he's forced back again. Rudiger getting into a shoving match with a California player. But his second and goal for the Golden Bears. Man, there's a lot of, a lot of elbows and fist to cuffs of flying, isn't it? 70 yards. Seven yards passing for USC. They've only rushed for eight yards to California's 58. And did I say, did I tell you he was going to be committed to the run again today? Did I say that? I did say that. For how long? And right now, Cal's committed to the run. They're just going to try and jam it up in there, Steve. Echimondu, tailback with an offset eye. Play action pass. Garrett crosses wide open for the touchdown. Just a nice job of play action. Nice fake that time by Aaron Rodgers. Watch him. Little bootleg West Coast offense. Cross. Giving it the cross. <laughs> Everybody right has their identity, don't they? Oh, yeah. Crisscross. Applesauce. The point after touchdown gives California a 14-7 lead over the number three team in the nation, the University of Southern California. Surprised by the Golden Bears as Rogers has thrown for another score. The Golden Bears back in front, and Jeff Tedford have them give that heavy load look double tight end. So what do they do? Well, they get the ball to Garrett Cross, Steve. Nice play action there. And Rodgers firing the ball out. Three and three on the drive for 23 yards. And Rodgers, the Nissan scoring drive, seven plays, 58 yards. The cross for the score. Let's send you to our college football Saturday studio for a Kyocera game break. Steve Tom, the Cubs have done it. Sammy Sosa, home run number 40. As the Cubs sweep the doubleheader today at Wrigley, they win game two, seven to two. They clinch the NL Central, their first division title since 1989. They open Tuesday night against the Atlanta Braves in Atlanta, eight o'clock Eastern time on Fox. Cubs clinch. So, so Steve, what's 
40 home runs, that's it. He doesn't have the cork in the bat anymore. Sammy Sosa, I just think it's <laughs> remarkable that the Cubs are in. Come and on. I would love to see the Cubs and the Red Sox and then somebody gets that gorilla off their back. Heck with the cork. Let's play ball. Reggie Bush is tackled after a one yard game. Yeah. Heck, I, I might be able to get 20 with a little cork in the bat. Yeah, Come right. On now. Lean Cubs on. last one in 1908 and the Red Sox in 1918. That's the story. It has nothing to do with cork or wine. <laughs> Just visions of your dinner tonight. Look that, at this that guy. That you're paying for. Who's he for? That, that you're paying for. I love it. He's an adult. Man. Look at that. He's got kind of a. He's a dome. Oh, he's got, he's got the plastic lid. A lot of paint there. Second down. Eight yards to go. Bush sweeping left side. Watch his speed. And he will get to about the 29 yard line, but he needed to really lower his shoulder there to get the first down. Steve, you know, we talk about wide receivers doing their part, running down the field, but I got to tell you, the guys that get it done, watch Kerry Colbert. He's going to come back. Watch him block this man right here. Uh, actually, right there. He ends up. Let me have. How many circles can I possibly draw on the screen? But Kerry Colbert came back inside. Steve got a great block, allowed Reggie Bush to hit the side, get up the field, and that's just it's good team play, unselfish play by Kerry Colbert. Colbert goes right side. Williams left. Third down and one. Williams goes motion. Dennis will not get the first down. That was a very slow developing play. Lorenzo All-American. Alexander on the tackle. Well, Hop Gregory told us, watch Lorenzo right in the middle, just bust through, and he makes a play. Bob Gregory said he had been playing better against the run, Steve. Right there, they've always liked Alexander, the 6'3", 295-pound junior, and he's really, really starting to play well. Local kid too, St. Mary's High out of Berkeley. Watch this guy, Tom Malone. He can really blast it, averaging 49 yards per punt this year, and he hits a line drive kick that's very strong, driving Strang back to the 15, but uh, allowing a Strang return. Strang goes down, so does a yellow marker. A penalty on the play, 56 yards in the punt, 12 on the return. So the net is 44, and that's a heck of a leg that Tom Malone has. Well, you know, they came into the game net punting, leading the country in net punting. And Malone has gotten more, he's hitting more line drives today. In the other game, we saw him against Hawaii. Boy, he just knocked the heck out of the ball and got a ton of hang time. Fantasy football players, listen up. Now there's a show just for you with 30 minutes of who to start, who to sit, and who's the player you need to pick up. Our experts do the work to help you look like a genius. The ultimate fantasy football show tonight and Sunday mornings only on Fox Sports Net. Check your local listings for the start times in your area. Steve Fiziak, Tom Ramsey with you as USC in town to take on California. And the Trojans down 14-7. California with the football. Now we'll start after the penalty inside their own 20 at the 17. This fantasy football thing's really become a big deal, had not I used to all say fantasy geeks. But I mean, they got like pools, you can win a lot of money. Gotta have gotta have knowledge. At Shimandu for a fine run of four yards to the 21-yard line. Our Bank America higher standards. Jeff Tedford has turned it around two years ago. One win last year, seven wins. It goes directly to turnover margin. Boy, it sure does, doesn't it? Turnover plus 18. Turning turnovers into points. And, and you know what? It, it's and it's so much. It's those big swings of momentum, the field position that you get off turnovers. Chimandu slams forward and Chimandu near a first down. I think he got it. Steve, what Cal has been able to do today, they just haven't taken any big loss plays. The one play the USC defense really nailed Aaron Rodgers on a blitz. He was able to get back to the line of scrimmage and, and at least didn't take that big heavy loss of yardage. And right there, another first down for the Cal Bears. They've just been able to kind of chip away at this SC defense. Aaron 
Rogers right now playing like Joe Roth and Echimondo is playing like Chuck Muncie. They are just hammering at the strength of this USC defense. Blitz is on. Rogers fires. It is incomplete. Picked off the turf by the wide receiver Jeff MacArthur, but it had hit Green first. Steve, watch the block out in front of Aaron Rodgers. Watch the fullback, Echimondu, comes and this That's a hit right there, man. Ooh, ooh. Wow. Gave Rodgers a little extra time. I believe he got the block. Echimondu really got a hold of Ronald Dunn that time. He came on a blitz. Rodgers had completed seven in a row before that pass. Now a slot to the right side. Rodgers with time. Now to Rhodes. He'll run the screen. Echimondo past the 30. First down Echimondo to midfield. Wow. You, you know, that's a great play call. And I'll tell you what sold it for me being up here. And I know it really sells it down on the field. The receivers on the right side of the field, Steve, they are running full speed full speed and so it gives the impression that hey Rodgers is going downfield no one's loafing on the play all of a sudden they spin around he drops off the ball to Echimondu there's a look at him you said Hawthorne California and really has brought impact to this Cal Bear team this year really a force running the football and really took over right where Joe Big Igber left off He'll go to the sideline. J.J. Arrington, the junior from Newhall College of Canyons, junior college, comes into the game. And he will run. Rather, it's Marcus O'Keefe. Marcus O'Keefe, the redshirt freshman from Carson, California. Melvin Simmons there for the tackle. But very little game. Here's Melvin Simmons, who is a starter at Washington State, then transferred back to Los Angeles, where he grew up. Went to Compton Dominguez High School. Nicknamed Champ. Pete, Pete Carroll even calls him champ all the time. It's a nice play. He almost ripped, stripped the ball out of O'Keefe. How about the Rodgers story? Here's a guy who Jeff Tedford said we didn't know anything about when he went to high school. He was like 6'1", 170 pounds. Then he went to Butte Junior College, became an All-American as a freshman. So Cal recruited him to come here as a sophomore. McConan with the catch, and Jonathan McConan passes the 45-yard line to about the 43. They'll still need about and, another seven for a first down. And, Steve, I was talking to George Cortez, the quarterback coach and offensive coordinator before the game. I asked him, how does a guy like Aaron Rodgers slip by? And he said, well, the two schools that were recruiting him, and I'm not sure which two schools those were. I don't know if they were mid-major, maybe, you know, mid-D1. mid, mid D1. Both coaches got fired. Therefore, you know, no, no one hears of Aaron Rodgers. And I asked Jeff Tedford, how'd you find him? And he said, Tom, when we lost 23 guys, we knew we had to go out and get some players, especially losing Kyle Bowler, too. Right there, the numbers at JC, 28 TDs to four INTs. Well, he's got a big third down here, and the pressure's on. He fires, completes the pass. First down, Burntoller at the 25. Allman with the touchdown saving tackle. And, and the other thing Jeff Tedford said, he said, Tom, I still can't believe the kid's only 19 years old. It, it's kind of kind of scary in a way, but on the other hand, he shows great maturity, great patience. Right there, the ball's right on the numbers to Toller. That, that's just, that's a veteran play right there. And remember, this is Aaron Rodgers' second start of his career in the big time. One of the keys, Jeff Tedford said, to beating USC would be converting third downs to keep their offense off the field. They've converted four of five in this game. And now the tight end cross is just blown up by cornerback Will Poole for a loss in the play of about a yard or two. There's Will Poole, the senior from Ventura Junior College, the All-American there. And Aaron Rodgers now 12 for 14 for 121 yards and a touchdown. And he has now thrown, what is it, 79 plus 14 is 93, right? 93 consecutive passes without an interception in his Division I career. Well, you mentioned third down opportunities, Steve. They came into the game 37%. Tedford's teams always do well on third down, but when you're, when you're at four or five so far in this game, that's awfully good. Rodgers is looking for Echimondu. Instead, he throws underneath to Jonathan McConan, but he was beautifully covered. Great coverage by Marcel Allman. 
Well, Tedford, he's known as a quarterback guru at Fresno State at Oregon and now at Cal. Uh, and this is cute. Jeff Tedford, he's wheeling and dealing, right? Trent Dilfer, Fresno State Super Bowl winner. Ravens, David Carr, first pick in the draft, Houston Texans, not a bad player. Akili Smith, quite the player up at Oregon, not quite the player in the pro ball, but Joey Harrington, fabulous player. Kyle Bowler, 19th pick in the NFL draft, starter now for the Baltimore Ravens, and Jeff Tedford right there, former quarterback himself. Don't forget A.J. Feely, who he coached at the University of Oregon, who's a backup with the Eagles. Downfield, Rodgers, is his name. Nice call. It's really almost the same call that Matt Miner threw to Dominic Bird. It's a tight end receiver, although this time it's Toller, the wide out, but he just knifes through the zone, Steve. They split the seam between the safety and corner. That's just a great throw. Well, we've seen some upsets today. Certainly Washington State going to Oregon and blowing out the Ducks was one. Will it happen today in Berkeley? College Football Saturday on Fox Sports Net is brought to you by Kyocera, the new value frontier. By MetLife. Have you met life today? By Acura. Experience the performance today at your local Acura dealer. And today's first down line is brought to you by Net Zero High Speed Internet. Surf the web up to five times faster. Strawberry Canyon here at Berkeley, California, and they are partying up on the hill because California has a 21-7 lead. And Bill Toller, a former walk-on with four catches for 81 yards and his first college touchdown. Now Reggie Bush. And Cole Cal balls him at the 17-yard line. So Cal has been an A-plus on offense, defense, and special teams in this game. They have one turnover on a fumble, and that led to USC's only touchdown. Yes, it was a 69-yard drive, but Cal might be up 28-0. And Steve, right now, you know, by Cal going up 21-7, it kind of looks like the game from a year ago. Cal jumping on the Trojans 21-3, but the Trojans came back and won that game 30-28. But right now, Cal hasn't squandered any opportunities. They've done well. Take a look at the last touchdown. Aaron Rodgers firing it to Toller. Just split the seams. Got in front of the safety. Nice job that time. Nice throw and catch. A penalty on California. And it is a big one that will bring the football all the way out to the 33 yard line. Six penalties for 63 yards against California. Been personal foul. Yep. A, lot of, a lot of California kids on this Cal Berkeley team, too, and so they get charged up playing the Trojans. Mike Williams just getting the football, and here he goes past the 40. First down, Mike Williams to midfield. Only his second catch. Both have been for first downs. Brian Tremblay on the tackle. Just do the math. Every six times the guy touches the ball, he gets a touchdown. Just keep feeding him the ball. That's what I would do. Great gun through the big tight end coming in for this play. Line up two tights, two wides. Today's first down line is brought to you by Net Zero High Speed Internet. Gary Colbert, it is incomplete. It looked like it was tipped, and then Colbert lost vision, and the ball juggled in his arms, incomplete, second down and 10 yards to go. And, and Steve, that liner looks to be hobbled a little bit. Cal Bears have got a couple good hits on him. They've got a couple licks on him early in the game, and he doesn't look, you know, like he's really 100% right now. That ball low, just a hitch pass. Went into the ground again. Watch Williams. Williams lining up in the slot. Get this guy the ball. Yeah, I'd go over the middle. They set up the screen, and now the pass is intercepted. Intercepted by middle linebacker Brian Tremblay. Boy. Reggie Bush fell down, and Leonard 
over through the fallen man. And, and I think Leinert's banged up a little bit, Steve. This is not a good throw. Watch Trembley right here. He's the one that ends up making the read and the interception. A great read. Nobody home. Sid Slater. Sid Slater, the middle linebacker. Leinert's hoping it was incomplete, but you know what? That's just sniffing it out. Slater just sniffed it out, sniffed out the play, and that's just a heady football player right there. And great field position. Let's see if California can turn it into points. USC down by 14, the number three team in the nation. At Chimondo, hammers the middle. And Adam Shinobi just hauling USC Trojans with him. He has had a fabulous first yeah. half. Closing in on 80 yards rushing in the first half, and it's been a couple of years, I believe, since USC gave up 100 yards in a game to a running back. The last opposing player to rush for more than 100 yards against the Trojans defense, Adam Tate of Utah in the 2001 Las Vegas Bowl. 76 yards rushing today for Adam Chinobi at Chimandu. Chimandu really, really running hard too, Steve, and they're coming off the ball on first down. They run the option. It is read beautifully, though. There's Cody. the speed by Kenichi Udeze. Sean Cody right there, Steve. He, as Pete Carroll said, playing this week, really feeling good again, playing hard, best week of practice so far. And they've held him back sometimes in fall camp, coming off that knee injury, but first-team All-American in 2001. He is a darn good player, great leader. Just a guy, just a playmaker. Again, they're, they're loaded with playmakers on the defensive side of the ball. And it allows those linebackers to do good, good, good just to make plays all over the place when you got four guys that good. Third down and eight. Blitz is on. Rodgers fires. First down. McConan inside the 25-yard line. He just stepped up into the pocket when the blitz surrounded him. Boy, he did, and I like McConan. He's a guy, Steve. He's a real steady guy. And you know, Rogers, again, they change the launch point. They roll up. They set up behind the big left tackle, Wilson. And then you see where the ball is thrown. McConan last year, leading receiver, 54 catches, 682 yards. Watch Sean Cody in the interior. He gets double teamed. Of course, you got to put a extra hat on him. Brunigan came on the blitz, but still Rogers hung in nicely. At Chimandu, maybe one yard. Tackled by Omar Nazel, the defensive end. Cal with a surprising 14-point lead on USC. Turnover is the big story in the Pac-10 today. Oregon turned the football over seven times in the first half alone to Washington State, and they were humble in Eugene. Well, you know, it's that, it's that stat when you're behind on the turnover margin in a game. If you're like a minus two in any game, the chances of you losing the game are like, you know, 70 percent. Statistician to help me on the math there. At Chimandu goes motion. Rogers steps up. He has a chance for open field and dives forward to the 16 yard line. He needs to get right around the 11 for a first down. See, Steve, that's a heady play. Take a look. This week's games. Look at the scores. Washington State over Oregon. Washington over Stanford later tonight. Arizona State versus Oregon State, another Fox Sports net game. San Diego State coming up to UCLA. TCU at Arizona. Arizona, John Makovic on a little bit of a hot seat, huh? Just a tad. And he is facing a tough road ahead. He got the proverbial vote of confidence by AD Jim Leibniz this week. Third down. Rodgers at Jamandu. There's opening in the middle. First down, California to the seven yard line. Darnell Bing on the tackle. Seven for eight. Now on third downs in this game. Cal's offense is clicking along. What a great, what a great look and play because as long as the ball is completed behind the line of scrimmage, Steve, the blockers can go downfield. So even though it looks like pass, the, the linemen are blocking like run, and it's very confusing for the defenders, and then they shovel the pass behind the line of scrimmage. And Jumandu picking up another first down. Great call. Rodgers play action, dumps it off. 
out of bounds. Mandarino, the fullback, just before he got into the end zone at the two-yard line. You know what's very interesting about California, how impressive we've been watching them today? Jeff Tedford said we knew he had a lot of graduates, so he wanted a lot of non-conference games. Here's the last throw to Mandarino, who gets out of bounds. But he said the reason we needed that, it's tough to buy into a system in two weeks. We needed guys to play football games and come together. This was team building five non-conference games. And they had some tough ones with Kansas State, Southern Miss, Colorado State, Utah, and Illinois. They got two wins. One against Southern Miss, one against Illinois last week. Echimondu hammered at the line of scrimmage and pulled back by USC. And it was Lopa Tutuku. And Steve, right now, Aaron Rodgers 16 of 19 for 186. Watch the two come just drilling at Jamadu in the back. But Steve, the thing is, Aaron Rodgers, every ball he's throwing is right on the numbers. It reminds me of, of like the 1986 Super Bowl. Check that, it might have been 87. Phil Simms. Yes. New York Giants. He put he was like 22 of 25 for, you know, 300 yards. But he put every ball on the numbers. I just remember that game. It was, was like the, the best. Zone. It was like the best quarterback I've ever seen. A, a, you know, best game a quarterback's ever played. I told Phil that too. I was like, man, I've never seen a guy throw it so well. Well, Rodgers has matched him in the first half man. against a pretty good defense. When we return, we'll send you to our College Football Saturday studio for an update with Mike Goldberg. Coming up at half on the Nissan Halftime Report, I'll be joined by the Hall of Famers, Kellen Winslow and Billy Ray Smith. All the Pac-10 action, including a shocker in Eugene and breaking news from Arizona regarding the Wildcats. Stay tuned for the Nissan Halftime Report. Back to Berkeley, Steve and Tom. Thank you, Mike. It is 21 to 7. California. They are 7 for 8, converting third downs. It's third and goal for the Bears. Rodgers back with time rolling. Flag is down. Rodgers dives into the end zone for it. But there's a flag down, and you wonder because he had so much time in the backfield of its holding. It is against California. And Rodgers comes limping off the field. Jeff Tedford already down on his play sheet. No one is going to have to call another play here. A few oh, yards back, offense. 10 yards back. 10 yards to the previous spot. Still third down. So it'll be third down, remain third down. Cal, of course, so far in the game, seven of eight on third down conversion. And Steve, you see Tedford looking over his play call sheet, red zone, saying, hey, what's my very best call to get it in the end zone? Because, again, you got to take a ball that's going to go about 14 yards third goal so you need you probably need some kind of crossing route you may even move the pocket a little bit play action probably is going to work here Rogers back to throw flip now corrects himself fires and got intercepted will pull could that be the turning point Again, USC defense standing up to the task, and they did a great job there, Steve, of being able to rise to the occasion and make the play on third down and intercept Rodgers. Pete Carroll's defense finally shining. They forced their second turnover. This was the interception by Will Poole. Wow, and they did. They tried to go to the short side. They brought the receivers across the whole length of the field. Cool playing so well, Steve. Pete Carroll just says he's just such a great surprise of that defense this fall camp. Will Poole earning starting quarterback spot coming up with a big play. 237 left on the clock for USC. Steve Smith with his first catch of the game. One catch for about seven yards. The first interception for Aaron Rodgers. He went 98 passes to start his Division I college career before throwing an interception. Picked off by Will Poole. Now USC will have a second down and two situation or a long one from their own 29-yard line. It looks like a run up to the line of scrimmage. Matt Leinert sends Mike Williams off to the right side and Colbert's in the slot left. 
Liner fires. Ball tipped in the air. California intercepts at the 40-yard line. Donnie McCleskey with the interception. What do I always say about tip balls? Not good. Not good. Not good. Tip ball again. The ball goes off Mike Williams. It shoots in the air, Steve. Miner trying to get the ball to Williams. And it just goes way up in the air. Donnie McCleskey there once again, the playmaker. The ball may have been tipped, Steve, by number 11, Harrison Smith, the corner. We had technical difficulties, so you missed this interception by Will Poole in the end zone. Aaron Rodgers threw 98 consecutive passes to start his Division I college career, and then picked off by Will Poole, the cornerback for USC. Only 154 remaining in the first half, and Cal wants points. Remember, they had a 21-3 lead in the first half at the L.A. Coliseum last year. And Carson Palmer, remember, they had a veteran quarterback that led them on the comeback, and Pete Carroll survived that game 30-28. to They've got a young quarterback who's made some mistakes. Two turnovers in this game by Matt Leiner. And one guy who's been pretty quiet today, Steve, for the Cal Bears, Jeff McArthur, their leading receiver coming in. McArthur up top here, top of the screen. Don't be surprised if they come to him, their playmaker. Rodgers over the middle and wide open. It's Jonathan McConan. McConan back in the lineup. He was hurt early in the season, and he was able to play last week against Illinois. Had a nice game, but his reemergence has really helped out this offense team. Tom, how do you defend the three-step drop? It, you know what? You got to get your hands up, but. The line has done a great job. And, and Jim Mahalchek, Steve, the offensive line coach for the Cal Bears, one of the best in the conference. Jeff Tedford put together a very good staff of coaches. Mahalchek has worked with his guys. If, if the offensive line are punching the defenders in the stomach, they probably can't get their hands up. And you know that's what they're teaching them. The officials stopped the play. Flag down, Gordon Reese will make the signals. Before the snap, delay, game offense. Five yards to the previous spot, still first down. First and 15 now, coming up at the half on our Nissan Halftime Report. Mike, Kellen, and Billy Ray will be talking about the incredible upset in Eugene, Oregon. Washington State at Oregon, and Arkansas loses to Alabama. We'll have highlights of that and more on the Nissan Halftime Report. The week after. What is it like the week after? I mean, Arkansas goes to Texas, wins there, and then they lose it against Alabama. Oregon upsets one of the top teams in the nation, Michigan, then gets not only beaten, but beaten soundly. There's a fumble on the play. There's a flag down on the play. USC comes up with the football. Let's see what the call is. Mike Patterson looked like he. Fell on that football, and USC still has time with well, just 18 seconds left. But they need points. And, and Steve, the USC defense comes up with a play again. There was 46 seconds left when they snapped the ball. Looks like the ball never came up. Rodgers not expecting it. Mike Patterson there to recover it. Great play by the nose tackle. Well, that will help USC considerably because USC. it'll be first down for them. They wave the flag Even off three again. points. Make it a 21-point lead. Oh, Jeff Tedford's hot. I don't blame him. Take a look. Trojans picking off Aaron Rodgers here in the end zone a moment ago, stifling one drive, and then the other interception just a moment ago. The ball tipped by Harrison Smith into the hands of Donnie McCleskey. Another play made by the playmaker McCleskey, and this, as as he tried to get Mike Williams the ball. Take a look, turnovers, three to two. USC having trouble holding on to the ball. USC just with 120 yards of total offense, Steve, in this first half. And Leinert really has had his worst game of his young career. 
Well, this week on the Undisputed Champion of pregame shows returns as J.B., Terry, Howie, and Jimmy take a look at the California Panthers, Carolina Panthers, ferocious front four. Are they the best D-line in the game? Plus, Jimmy talks to the Vikings head coach Mike Tice about their 3-0 start and his relationship with Randy Moss. It's the Ford F-150 Fox NFL Sunday pregame show, Sunday at noon Eastern, 9 Pacific on Fox. And when this game yeah. started, Tom, we talked about the brilliance of the USC front four. And yes, they've been very strong this year, but they have not played up to their task in this contest as California's offense has picked them apart. And Chimandu running well. Rogers has completed 90% of his passes. That's a play calling to Jeff Temper. It, it's an aggressive style of play calling. Every, they're going to fire all the bullets, Steve, in the chamber. They're going to get after it. And that's how you got to play good football. I mean, and SC does it too. I mean, Norm Chow, the offensive coordinator for them, they've just been working uphill the whole game. They've had, they really haven't had great field position, and this drive doesn't start them off any better than they started the whole game. They will run the football. Short game by Herschel Dennis, and I think they're wanting to just go into the locker room and talk about this and maybe get a lecture from Pete Carroll about being ready for a big game. They had two weeks off, and USC did not play well. Jeff Tedford's California Golden Bears get an A-plus with a 21-7 halftime lead over California. Let's go to Mike Goldberg and Kellen Winslow and the fellas. Billy Ray Smith for our college football Saturday halftime show. 21 to 7 Cal at halftime. Number three, USC trails. Oh my goodness. Welcome into the Nissan Halftime Report. That is Kellen Winslow. That is Billy Ray Smith. They're both in the College Football Hall of Fame. They're both going to help us get caught up around the Pac 10. Let's get right to it. Number 21, Washington State. Number 10, Oregon. And wow, senior Matt Kegel, what a day. A little trick play here. Matt Kegel is going to go downfield to Devar Darling, the Florida State transfer. Great individual effort going up and getting the ball at the highest point. This game was all about Oregon turnovers. In fact, nine of them, Kellen Clemens throws outside, balls deflected, picked off by senior Virgil Williams. Now, that's not Kellen's fault, okay? No, that's not his not. fault, no. It's hard to blame a Kellen on this show. <laughs> Oregon suffers its worst Pac-10 loss since 1981 Man. when they lost 42-3 to Stanford. Kegel, three touchdowns on the day. Speaking of Stanford, they had a good showing until the very end when number 18 Washington pulled away. Yeah, and Rich Alexis really comes through. 178 yards on the ground to get that Husky offense moving. Reggie Williams, his 12th career 100-yard receiving game. So the Huskies win 28 to 17. Another problem in Tucson tonight, perhaps, when they play TCU. Coach John Makovic asked the kids to do something positive in the community, guys. 20 kids did not show up, and so Coach Mack said those 20 kids will not have dinner with the team at the hotel last night. Not sure if they'll play. Your thoughts? Well, my thought is he gave the kids something to do. They had a deadline to meet this community service project. They didn't get it done. But separating that team and having some guys eat over here and some guys eat over there, Billy Ray, that's just adding to the problem. Yeah, the nerve of John Makovic asking him to do community service. I mean, come on, coach. Look, this all goes back to last year when the players revolted against Coach Makovic and he didn't hand him the walking papers. If you don't want to play at Arizona, go find someplace else to play. But the, the athletes can't run the program. They can't decide who's going to be the head coach and there's a lot of support from the athletic director towards John Makovic he doesn't want to pay the buyout yeah well <laughs> that could be it. okay yeah you're right. I'd be for him too if it cost me money I'd do it also you have a money theme today I'm a money guy yeah, yes, a money guy. You, yes you are guy has always been a money guy. all right it's highlights green, as we green, continue yeah. and they continue to discuss BR's number nine hog to Bama oh this one has BR on the edge of his seat oh day long we continue on the Nissan halftime report from Los Angeles in a moment welcome back to the Nissan halftime report the Golden Bears of Cal controlled the ball for more than 20 minutes in the first half against Pete Carroll's number three USC Trojans they lead by 14 21 to 7 they are in overtime in Tuscaloosa Arkansas has played in six overtime games in 2002, a seven overtime game in 2001. We'll keep you updated. Both teams have failed to score on their first possession in overtime. We've lost BR somewhere. I don't know where he is. 
Lions. Number 13, <laughs> Iowa at Michigan State. Senior quarterback Jeff Smoker. A great job of moving around in the pocket. Jeff Smoker, even with his off the field troubles last year, has come back to be the undisputed leader of this Michigan State offense. Undisputed is the all time school leader in completions, attempts, and touchdown passes. The Spartans snap Iowa's 10 game Big Ten winning streak. John L. Smith wins for the first time in conference. Number 23, Missouri. They lose for the first time this season. Fourth quarter, Kansas down 14 13. Clark Green gets the handoff, takes it in for the score. Kansas upsets number 23, Missouri, 35 to 14, holding Missouri to 196 yards total Ouch. offense. Jayhawks fans going crazy, tearing down the goalposts. Oh my goodness! And Billy Ray, let's talk. Are, are, are you are you okay? I know your team's in overtime. No, listen, I'm fine because, because the Hogs have just <laughs> intercepted Brody Croyle, and, and they're they're doing fine right now. You're Otherwise, using your I'd be a flash. I know yes, you are. I know. Let's Absolutely. talk Kansas. Good win today. Good win. And listen, Mark Mangino has done a great <laughs> job there in Lawrence. And I'll tell you this. It's not just the offense. The Jayhawks were playing some serious defense today, Kellen. They played great defense, but Bill Whittemore, their quarterback, just had an outstanding day. A very cool customer in the pocket, made good decisions. Even when Missouri came after him, he was very calm and made good decisions. Brad Smith, an off day, but the young man will be back and will have a great, great time in the Big 12 this year. So you do not see this as a major hit on Missouri. It is a minor, but not a major. Well, it's a, I think it's a major hit because now they've got to rebound quickly and get ready for Nebraska. Mm. They Thought they'd be five and zero. Oh, they're four yeah. and one. How do you deal with that mentally? Well, let's see if they rebound well. Washington State's one team that's rebound well. We'll talk about that all night long here as we continue throughout the Pac-10. All right, this is JC transfer Aaron Rodgers. What a first half he has had for the Cal Golden Bears. Controversial touchdown, but touchdown nonetheless. An upset in the air. This is the Nissan halftime report. Welcome back to the Nissan Halftime Report. USC had not allowed a first-half touchdown this season before tonight. They've allowed three of them. An 11-game win streak is on the line. You do not want to miss the second half in Berkeley. Second game of our doubleheader, Oregon did not react favorably off their win against Michigan. Well, how will Arizona State rebound from scoring two points at Iowa? Arizona State, Oregon State, Pac-10 opener, more scores and highlights, plus an overtime update on the Hogs. This is is the Nissan Halftime Report. Welcome back to the Nissan Halftime Report. I wonder if any of these students or adults on Tightwad Hill were around in 1975 when Cal last beat a top five opponent, and it happened to be USC. Right now, they're winning at half, 21 to seven. BR's back with us, double overtime. Chris Balcero for the win. Splits it right down the middle, and the Hogs are 4-0 and after a 21-point comeback to send it in overtime. And in overtime, Alabama missed a field goal, and they threw an interception. The Hogs, number nine in the nation, survive. Number six, Florida State, ACC play. They're 11-0 all-time against Duke. They are at the half, and the Seminoles and Chris Ricks rolls it up. Number eight, Tennessee. They've won their last 10 meetings with the Gamecocks of South Carolina. This game is tied early. We'll have updates all night long. Number 14, Texas. The Longhorns have never lost back-to-back -back home games under Mac Brown. They shouldn't do it here today. They've rushed the ball very well. Our game, number three, USC. They've got to make some adjustments for the second half. Ooh, adjustments. They've got to do more than that. I'll tell you what, Billy Ray. Cal has dominated every phase of this football game in the first half. USC can't get to the quarterback. They're not stopping the run. Cal came out fired up defensively yep. shut him down you will see better pick it up real quick it's not as exciting as the wild bunch but let's try this <laughs> the fundamental bunch come on defense let's go get in your gaps and make some tackles it is time to see if bounce back saturday continues and maybe cal is somehow bouncing back from some type of disappointment although they did There's win last be. week yeah. all right it's got it this is kellen's team we'll discuss as we continue throughout the pac-10 all night our score at the half 21 7 cal in the junior college transfer aaron Rodgers lead you've been watching the nissan halftime report second half next Football Saturday, presented by Kyocera. What a game in Berkeley. Memorial Coliseum is going crazy as their Bears hold a 21-7 lead over the number three team in the nation. Steve Fiziak again with Tom Ramsey, two keys. 
Cal's offensive line against the wild bunch too. They've held them off and also Jeff Tudford to hold us told us early in the week if we convert third downs we will hold the time of possession and that has been a strength and seven of nine and you nailed it Steve right now the Cal Bears converting seven of nine opportunities and that speaks a lot to itself because it resembles it comes across in the score first downs and also total yards as we're taking a look at the MetLife scoreboard first half statistics and you know what it really equates to is time of possession. When you convert on third down, 22 minutes for Cal, only seven and a half for USC. That's really the tale of the first half right there. 14 first downs, 44 plays for California, 24 for USC. It was not a first half where USC was stumbling and fumbling and turning the ball over. It was simply the fact that California just drove the ball down USC's throats. And the last time California knocked off a team as highly rated as USC, the number three team in the nation, was 52 years ago. In 1951, Cal beat number three Stanford in the big game 20 to 7. This score is 21 to 7, and California has the lead. It's almost imperative that USC come up with points on this first offensive possession. I couldn't agree more, Steve. They really got to get untracked offensively. Marcel Allman just to the 13-yard line. How about the special teams play by California? It was Mike McGrath, number 25, just storming through and coming up with the tackle on Marcel Allman. This is USC's first half possessions, a punt, a punt block that led to a touchdown, and then another score, a punt, and a couple of interceptions, and then finally the half came to a close. Well, Matt Liner, he limps out to the huddle. Five for 15, his worst numbers of the year. Started the year 3 0, replacing the All American Carson Palmer. So here he comes. He has great receivers in Williams and Colbert, and they have not caught many. They'll try the middle, and again, California's defense has been so tough up front. Sturcek, Lorenzo Alexander, the two tackles have been brilliant in the first 30 minutes of this ball game. Steve, you said it just a moment ago. I mean, it's almost like the USC offense has been playing uphill the whole game. They really haven't had the momentum push. It's the Cal front four that's really played well. Lorenzo Alexander has played well, but the USC offensive line hasn't gotten untracked, and they haven't gotten the ball to their playmaker enough, Mike Williams. Dennis only five carries for seven yards, and he won't get much here. They're determined to get that run game going, but it's just not working. They only have like 40 yards rushing in the game. Sometimes the challenge when, when you try to get your run game on track is you get into these longer third down situations, puts more pressure on the quarterback, puts more pressure on the offensive line right now. USC facing a third and six. And Steve, you know, they, they got the sun in their eyes. It's tough on Matt Leinart right now. The way the sun is coming into the stadium, it's difficult to see your receivers down the field. Mike Williams lining up up top. Third down conversion today. USC only two of five. And they are not playing man. They're in the zone. Liner backs up, fires right side, completes the pass to Herschel Dennis. It's well shy of a first down. Tackled by Harrison Smith. Punt. Who comes on again with Cal leading by 14. Now the good news is this. USC has a great punter in Tom Malone. They came into the game today as the number one team in net punting in the in the country but remember Cal blocked the punt the second time Malone was out there today so they'll come after this one again today right now he gets it off angles it towards the left side and Vinny Strang and Strang makes the catch and down he goes talk about a great punt by Tom Malone and terrific special teams play by USC Justin Wyatt on the tackle College Football Saturday on Fox Sports Net is brought to you by Kiyosera, the new value frontier. By Best Buy, thousands of possibilities. Get yours. By Infinity, makers of innovative, high-performance premium vehicles. And today's first down line is brought to you by Net Zero High Speed Internet. Surf the web up to five times faster.
Matt Leinart on the phone with Norm Chow, his offensive coordinator, and right now Leinart not being able to find open receivers downfield, and he's got two of the best in the country in Williams and Colbert. This young man, Aaron Rodgers, meantime, has had a brilliant first half, 17 of 21, 203 yards, and one interception. He has thrown for two touchdowns. That is an 81% completion rate. At Jamandu, the running back, Races the middle and gets about three yards in the carry. Echimandu in the first half ran for 79 yards on 15 carries, and USC's defense has not allowed an opponent to rush for 100 yards in a game since 2001. Today's first down line is brought to you by Net Zero High Speed Internet. And Steve, remember the USC defense has stymied. Cal's offense twice in the red zone in the first half, or else the score would have been worse. Second and six at Shimondu left side. Big hole. There he goes. First down to the 45. Steve, again, you said it at halftime. We talked about it. The offensive line, watch again, the crease. They open up a big hole. Mark Wilson, the big left tackle, stones his guy at the line of scrimmage. And then Echimandu just able to run right off his hip. They're all fast hitting run plays. Not a lot of, you know, there's no misdirection on the run plays, and he's knocking on the door of 100 yards, and USC hasn't given up a 100 yard rusher in quite some time, 16 games to be exact. Echimandu just has that lean low on his shoulder. Here he attacks the middle. This is Marcus O'Keefe, the redshirt freshman in the game. Only at 41 yards rushing coming into the contest. He's actually seen more time than J.J. Arrington, the junior from Newhall. You know, so, Steve, it's, it's, it's one of those momentum builders when you get your run game on track. It really opens up the rest of your offense. Cal has been able to do that from the very first drive today. They opened up with Echimandu running hard, and they've just stayed on top of it, stayed consistent with their run, and worked in a pass here and there, and been very successful on third down today. O'Keefe stays in the game as the tailback. Second down, nine to go. Rodgers with very little pressure. Now downfield he goes. It was tipped and almost intercepted by Melvin Simmons. Let's go to our accurate trivia question. Four USC tailbacks have won the Heisman Trophy. Which three USC tailbacks and one Cal Cal tailback finished second in the Heisman voting? That's what's impressive about the Trojan running game. Yeah, they've had four Heisman's, but they've also had three runner-ups. One USC quarterback also won the Heisman, and Carson Palmer and Rodney Peet was a runner-up one season. We'll give you the answer later in the ball game. Echimandu back in the game. It's third down and nine. Big defensive stand for USC. Complete at the 40-yard line. First down. He is now eight for ten, completing, converting third downs. Steve, one of the things again, Aaron Rodgers hangs in the pocket really well. Here's a look at Pete Carroll, who I'm sure is going to be blitzing a little bit more this half. Watch MacArthur. He ends up sitting down nicely. Steve makes a great catch. Ball out in front of him. Coming across the middle there. Lopa Tutu there to bring him down. And MacArthur came in with some sore ribs. Toughing it out. At Jamandu, up the middle. A short gain to about the 36-yard line, but all of a sudden they inch forward, getting closer to at least scoring territory. Field goal points right now, so key for Cal as they fight off USC. I, I like how Echimandu has run today. He's run hard. He's put the helmet and shoulder pads low when he's had to. He's toughed it out, gotten the extra yards. He's also blocked very well when he's had to. He has been a major force. Now over 100 yards rushing in this game. Hit McConan right in the slot inside. Rodgers in trouble. Escapes the sack. Fires right side. Incomplete at the 10 yard line. Intended for Jonathan McConan. Steve, that's one of those. You got a guy down the field, but he had about 20 yards of running room right in front of him. And you know, sometimes again, take what the defense gives you. I know Jeff Tedford rang it in his ear all week. Hey, look, this defense is as good as they come. Don't get too aggressive. Play within yourself. 
know, don't try and do too much. And, and when you can run for 8, 10, 12, 14 yards, take that opportunity. Sometimes if you if you make that happen, or at least, you know, right now they have a third and long, yeah, third they've and seven. They've converted 80% of these, so it's, they've got it right in their favor, huh? Yeah. Third and seven, blitz is on. Rogers steps up, runs, and will not get the first down. He will get an additional yard to the 35-yard line. It will be fourth down and five yards to go. If they attempt a field goal, it will be beyond 50 yards. Well, I tell you what, Jeff Ted for second right now, he may call a timeout, and they may end up going for it because what they were able to do right there, uh, they may come on with a punt team. You know what was impressive, though? USC brought six guys that time yep. and they could not get to Aaron Rodgers. But the job this offensive line has done for Cal. They did a good job. Keep your eye out for a fake though. It's a good, good opportunity to run one if you're going to run one. Greg Carlson standing at his 10. Fredrickson. Hanging it up high. Carlson drifting back. It is into the end zone. I thought Cal might be able to knock it back inside the five. Mike McGrath gave it his best effort, but USC will have it on their own 20 when we come back. California with a surprising 21-7 lead over the number three team in the nation, the University of Southern California. Our virtual question, you can go online, log on to FoxSports.com, NCAA football. The question is, which Pac-10 football team has the best uniforms? Arizona State, California. <laughs> Ramsey likes Oregon's <laughs> yellow. Oregon State and USC. That you, Your hey. vote does not count. Hey, I went online, man. I, I, I'm entitled to my one vote. There's no hanging Chad on that vote. Nope. Broadcasters are not allowed to vote. I'm not allowed to vote because I would only go for numbers that are easy to read. <laughs> Here's Matt Leinart on first down. Downfield it goes. Gets the first down and hits his big tight end, Greg Gunther, the 6'8 tight end who played on the Henry Bibby basketball team. Boy, and Gunther also played at Taft High School, which these days is turning out a bunch of good players, Steve. Steve Smith, Greg Gunther for USC. And of course, young quarterback Kerry Dove out of Taft High, who's redshirting this year for the Cal Bears. I, but I know a moment ago when Matt Leonard was on the phone with Norm Chow, you know what Norm Chow told him? Throw the ball down the field. Don't be afraid. Throw it down the field. That's what he's and doing. Here it goes to Dominique Bird. What a catch! That's a tight end catching it like Mike Williams. I guarantee you, Norm Chow said, "Hey, take off the handcuffs." And, and you know, because on third down, the earlier third down, they did not convert. Steve he threw it to the short guy. There was no. I mean, you're not going to get a first down throwing it three yards when you got to get eight. Right there, Dominic Bird's having a big game. He caught his first touchdown earlier today, and that's just a great catch right there over a linebacker. That liner fired up, as he should be. Well, Norm Chow said he wanted to see Leonard have some fun. He said he's so concerned about doing the right things. Go out there, play football like when you were a kid. Have some fun. Make plays. He's made two big ones here. He's going downfield again. Colbert was wide open at the 10 and could not hold on. Boy, he had him too. High throw that time. Colbert unable to pull it down. Colbert's been a model of consistency in the receiving core for USC. He's caught a pass in 27 consecutive games. Good blocker as well at the point of attack. Right now, second 10, USC. I think you got to find your big fella again, Steve. I think you got to find Mike Williams. He's on the right side. It's right there. Second and 10. Liner. It was there for him. Did he hold on? That's a a juggling catch by Kerry Colbert. That's concentration. That, that is a great catch. Kerry Colbert was able to stay with it, Steve. Watch him. Tight split, nice shake right there. Little, little skinny post. Boy, he brings it down between like three, four guys. Ball's behind him. The concentration. Look at the concentration. Guys flying all over the place. Still comes down with it. First down, USC. 
Three catches for 73 yards. You see his consistency in his career. Play action. Liner dumps it off. Colbert to the five yard line. He was down. There is a fumble. It was recovered by USC, but the officials say he was down at the six yard line. So Colbert with his fourth catch and third of this half. Boy, watch. And, and, and you, did you see Colbert? He snuck out right there, Steve. What a nice little wrinkle of a play. Another little West Coast offensive wrinkle there. Norm Chow sent Colbert in motion. Rams at second right down, but they have the hammer in the game. The hammer is yeah. Lindell White. 6'2, 225. They will give it to White. He hammers the middle and scores a touchdown. Goal line and short yardage back, and Lindale White, the true freshman out of Chatfield High in Denver, scored a couple touchdowns against the University of Hawaii a couple weeks ago, Steve. And that drive that time, Matt Liner made it look easy. The offensive line fired at that time, put some people on the ground, and White over for the score. Well, as you said, Norm Chow took off the handcuffs and they ripped it down the field. Well, he told Liner to take off the cuffs because he was playing, <laughs> he, you know, he was playing conservative. Throw it down the field, make some plays, and that's what he did. He made plenty of plays in this drive. It resulted in a touchdown by Lendell White. Gary Colbert with two terrific catches on USC's drive. They went 80 yards in six plays, the most impressive drive of the game for USC. It only took 207. And the bat line was four for five in that drive, only five completions in the entire first half yep. in 15 attempts. Here's the kickoff. Mathia, number three in the end zone. He's going to one knee. College football presented by Kiyosera returns to Fox Sports Net next week with a doubleheader. First, the 18th ranked Washington Huskies battle UCLA in a Pac-10 showdown. Then the Big 12 takes center stage as Texas A&M takes on Texas Tech in an in-state shootout with bragging rights on the line. College football continues here next week at 6 o'clock Eastern, 3 Pacific on Fox Sports Net. Check your local listings. Matt Leiner started to heat up. He is drawing USC within seven of California. Bears had a fine drive in their last possession. They thought they might be able to get points, but they couldn't convert their final third down, and it resulted in a punt. In a punt. Rodgers blitz is on. Rodgers escapes. Throws. Intercepted USC. Touchdown. Lofa to Tupu. Say, Steve, this is this will this drive will be the difference maker. Okay, didn't have time to say it because all of a sudden, if you're Cal, you would have to put a drive together here to get gain back some momentum. Brutigood comes on the blitz, then Jason Leach comes, harasses Aaron Rodgers. Aaron Rodgers, bad throw, right in the arms of Lofa Tatupu, who's right in the correct spot again. Touchdown Trojans. The fourth touchdown scored by the USC defense this year. Lofa's dad, Mosey, scored a lot of touchdowns for USC, but that was Lofa's first in his Trojan career. A homecoming. And I'll tell you, I played with his dad, Mosey, with the Patriots, Steve, and Mosey was always around the football, always. And Lofa Tatupu is always around the football, making tackles, making plays. That time, Rodgers, he's came into the game with zero interceptions. He has two today. That one very costly. This week on the Undisputed Champion of Three Game Shows, JB, Terry, Howie, and Jimmy take a look at Carolina, the Panthers' ferocious front four. Are they the best D line in the game? Plus, Jimmy talks with Vikings head coach Mike Tice about their 3 0 start and his relationship with Randy Moss. It's the Ford F 150 Fox NFL Sunday pregame show, Sunday at noon Eastern, 9 Pacific on Fox. Well, USC has come roaring back with two touchdowns in less than one minute. James Bathia back deep, number three at the one-yard line. Now the 
the pressure is on Cal. Mathia. Mathia out past the 25-yard line. Steve, I'll tell you, it started off because they ended up blitzing on the previous play. Watch Grudegood. He slants hard. Then watch Jason Leach comes in late. So they got one blitzer. Leach comes. Now all of a sudden you got a lot of pressure on Aaron Rodgers. Mike Patterson in hot pursuit. Bad throw. Man. It's because you open up the can and you, you know when you blitz, things can happen. Usually for the good, if you're a great defense, and right then USC dominating at the line of scrimmage. Famous screen. quote by Francis Marion, he who fights and runs away lives to fight another day. Try it. Try too much. At Chimandu. At Chimandu out past the 30, near the 35-yard line. A new quarterback, Rogers, made one bitter mistake. So Reggie Robertson, who was this season's original starter, six feet two inches tall from Tucson, Arizona. He's completed 61% of his passes and is touchdowns to interception ratio is very good eight to three you know Jeff Tedford I, I gotta tell you Richie Robertson's played well this year and, and he did not really get demoted it's just that they have two good quarterbacks and Aaron Rodgers probably has the stronger of the arm between the two but Robertson's done well when he's been in there he's putting up good numbers Tatupu and Simmons on the tackle of Echimandu. Mike Patterson, the big guy at six feet, 285 pounds, also getting off Echimandu. Rogers on the sideline now, Steve, with a headset. Mike Patterson, there's Rogers. Over on the sideline, and you know, sometimes he might just need a breather. Just give him a breather, and uh, I think Tetra, that's what he had going, 32 for the Bears. They'll run to the right. At Jamondu, first down, past the 40 to the 47 yard line. Jason Leach on the tackle. As soon as they made the wonderful fake to the fullback and pitched it, there was a huge hole right side. Well, it's that nice misdirection play that you run. They kind of show the flow going left, and then they end up tossing it back to the right. And Robertson just. Making a nice pitch that time. Nice misdirection. Echimandu over 100 yards now. 115 on 20 carries. Yep. First opponent to go over 100 yards against USC since the Las Vegas Bowl in 2001. And Robertson throws incomplete, intended for Burl Toller. Reggie Robertson started the first four games, had three, a couple of great games against Kansas State. Despite the loss, he threw for 257 yards and three touchdowns against a pretty good Wildcat defense. That was a pretty good defense that they threw at him that night. And I got to tell you, Reggie Robertson, probably not quite the thrower. Aaron Rodgers, and I expect to see Rodgers back in the game today, too. Well, you couldn't play much better than he did in the first half. One poor decision on a throw that's picked off and returned for the tying touchdown. Robertson going to McConan. McConan blasts for the first down. Darnell Bing on the tackle. Nice play that time. USC again in a blitz, bringing both Grudegood and Lofa Tatupu bit of a stunt Steve and they're just trying to get that extra pressure on Robertson and the official word comes from the from the sideline on Aaron Rodgers it was simply a coach's decision it is not an injury they brought on Reggie Robertson who is the junior actually has more time in this system with Jeff Tedford playing behind Kyle Bowler who's now playing for the Baltimore Ravens this year Rodgers probably on with George Cortez Fine coordinator in the Canadian Football League, and they do get the first down. Well, they're doing a good job in play calling, and you saw how fast when USC scored two touchdowns in less than a minute. The, the, the strike capability of the Trojans it, it is awfully quick, and, and so you got to come down if you're Cal. At least they've got past the 50, so now you have a big momentum, or at least a field shift. But now you got to do something with it. You're in some, you know, you cross the 50-yard line, 5:42 left in the third quarter. You'd really like to come away with some points on this drive. They are showing run, and they will run. The 
they did have single coverage on Burl Tolo to the right side, but Darnell Bing got into the backfield so quickly to cut down Etchemandu for a loss in the play of three yards. Melvin Simmons also back there, number 51, who came charging as the outside backer and made the tackle. Yeah, that's a nice play by Simmons to fend off the blocker, Steve, keep his pad level low, and then come through and make the tackle on Etchemandu. So now a second long, second 14 for Cal. Let's see, Jonathan McConan this time. He caught a couple big balls in the first half over the middle. He lines up tight slot for Cal. McConan right there in the slot. USC will rush four. They complete the pass. And still on his feet now being knocked down at the 44-43 yard line is that wide receiver Jeff MacArthur came into the game with more receiving yards than any receiver in the NCAA. And take a look. This is a slip screen here. They're going to get the ball, and then he's going to follow his blocker, Steve. And McConan's one of the guys out in front. As long as the ball is completed behind the line of scrimmage, you can release downfield and get some blocks, but the ball is not delivered sharply by Robertson. Not near as sharp as what Rodgers was throwing in the first half. They've been great converting third downs. They have a third and nine here, and they'll spread out USC. USC showing a four-man rush, and that's all they'll get. Robertson is sacked. A four-man rush by the Wild Bunch, and they get to him. Mike Patterson, the nose tackle. Mike Patterson comes hard. He's like a Warren Sapp. Watch him fight through. Nice little TE stunt, little TT stunt there. Crossing by the tackles, and Mike Patterson bringing the hammer. Not real tall, about six foot. That's why they call him Baby Sapp. <laughs> Fourth down. <laughs> Tyler Fredrickson. Greg Carlson, who is the sure hands guy, standing at the 10, and the ball is hammered pretty far, and they'll let it go. No. Oh man, that's the one where you let it go inside the 10. Let it go. Good call, coach. You want to let it go if it's inside the 10. That's for darn sure. Take a look at USC in the second half. We talked about strike capabilities. Matt Liner down the field to Dominic Bird. Big gain that time, and right back to Kerry Colbert, who just showed great concentration that time, bringing it down. Gets another one out to Colbert. Tried to get in for the score. Then they hand it off to Lindale White. Over for a few yards out. And a minute later, less than a minute later, guess what happened, Steve? Blitz, bad throw, Tatupu, end zone, tie score 21 all. Quarterbacks are always the difference. The pass is complete to Mike Williams. And Mike Williams breaks two tackles, three tackles. He's got the first down at the 28 yard line. Get him the football. That's what we're saying. Get him the ball. The guy is dominant, man. Get him the rock. Just count him. Every six times he touches the ball, he scores. So I just keep throwing six hitches to him. You figure you're going to get a touchdown, right? Why not? It's a simple throw. <laughs> Liner, you make the simple throws. Our Sarah Heisman watch, USC's Mike Williams. Only two receivers in the last 30 years have ever won the award. Tim Brown of Notre Dame, Desmond Howard of Michigan. He's on my list. He's 6'5, 230 pounds. Liner, play action. Looking for Williams. No, he's got Colbert. Incomplete. Colbert thought he was interfered with. Incomplete. Good one, call by the official. That was a good call. That was a great play, Steve, by the true freshman, Dante Hughes, out of Crenshaw High School. Number 13. He stayed with Colbert stride for stride. Liner, Liner gets drilled when he throws the ball too. He just did a good job getting it out, giving his receiver something to throw to. Both receivers kind of in the same area. What was Williams doing bringing his man over in that territory? I'm not sure. I, I think the ball was, he got hit. Liner got hit right when he threw it, so it was off target. Williams lining up in the slot this time. Second and 10. Rendell White, who scored the game time touchdown, has been in on every play of this drive. Williams breaks a tackle. Williams gets the first down. Williams still on his feet and finally muscled out of bounds. Well, you know, 
what's interesting, Steve? I know what Norm Chow would tell me. Hey, Ramsey, relax. You can't give Williams the ball every play. But when they threw the ball outside, one of the coaches on the USC sideline threw his arms up like it was going to be a touchdown. And, and that's just, you know, look at that block. Watch that block. That's a great crack right Steve there. Steve Smith, that's, the freshman. Again, now that's the block that can take place because the ball's completed behind the line of scrimmage. So it's not an interference or anything else on the offense. But the, Oh, the SC coaches on the sideline were they were signaling touchdown man. They thought Mike Williams was going to break it to the house. Three catches for 60 yards in the game. Two catches in the second half. Both were big first downs. One for 19. One for 20. Lorenzo Alexander stops Lendell White. You had a chance to see it. Littleton Colorado. Colorado's all time rush leader with over 7,800 yards in his marvelous career. Jeff Tedford, he at one time had a 21-7 lead. Then USC on their second possession of the second half took it down the field, scored the touchdown, and then an interception by Lopa Tatupo, run back for 36 yards and the game-tying touchdown. Liner under pressure, fires, complete Williams. The mark will be important here. Yes, he does get the first down. The linesman comes in and said he got all the way to the Cal 42 yard line before he was forced back. That's three catches on this drive for Mike Williams. Well, I told you, throw him six this drive and see what happens. Liner doing a nice job. Staying on number one. Donnie McClessy coming up with a nice tackle there, Steve. Corral that guy if you can. Mike Williams. In the first half, only one catch, 21 yards. Actually, he had two catches because they turned the other one a run because it was completed behind the line of scrimmage. They turned the lateral. So, two USC catches. USC and their old power eye look. They haven't seen that in a while. And they're going to throw out of it. And they're going to throw to Steve Smith. It is incomplete. The right side. Check that. It was Sandy Fletcher, number seven, not number two, Steve Smith. Did have single coverage. Liner spotted that, and I'm not sure if he audibleized to it. Sandy was well covered by Hughes, who is the true freshman from Los Angeles Crenshaw High School, who grew up watching USC play at the LA Coliseum. Liner now with a second and ten. He's got 51 yards on this drive. 124 remaining third quarter. And Steve, one thing I'd, I'd expect Cal to bring the blitz here. The rush four over the middle it goes to Greg Gunther to the 35 yard line. They'll still need another three for a first down. Wendell Hunter on the tackle. Wendell, we haven't seen the big plays from Wendell. He's one of those guys who gets a sack a game. And I thought they'd bring him on the blitz. Steve, we were keeping an eye on him right here. You see him jump Gunther right after he caught the ball. Wendell Hunter had a big game a week ago against Illinois. Game ended on his sack. Of the quarterback to end the game. Big third down for USC, third and three. They'll run. Reggie Bush. He is dropped. Dropped for a four or five yard loss. Monte Parson, the defensive end, with a marvelous play on freshman Reggie Bush. Steve, a great play by Monty Parson at the point of attack. Watch. He ends up getting knives through. They shut down the outside running lane. Well, that, that's good football there. They had a ton of blockers stacked up over there, too. Monty Parson, look at his explosion. Man. Boy, yeah, that, that's a great tackle. Now Tom Malone comes in. He said he wanted to improve his angle punting, getting the ball inside the 20-yard line. This one's going to come up a beauty inside the 10, down near the 6, and that's what Malone wanted to improve on, to the 5-yard line. Tom Malone, an A-plus all season long, averaging close to 50 yards per blast, and when you need it inside the 20, he gets it to the 5. We're tied at 21 with Cal at USC in Berkeley. Napa game summary, Cal led 21-7 at the half. USC with two touchdowns, 10 seconds apart in the third quarter, and the time of possession. All California, almost 30 minutes to 15, but 
Cal made the one big mistake on Rogers' throw into pressure. Lofa Tatupu intercepted, returned it 36 yards to tie this game. 51,208 enjoying this on an absolutely gorgeous afternoon in Berkeley. Temperatures in the mid 70s. Reggie Robertson stays in as the quarterback. He'll run out of the eye formation. And they will run the football to Echimandu. Not much there. And now you're seeing the USC defense play like we expected them to play. They have shut out Cal on the scoreboard in the second half. And Steve, when those front four players play well defensively for USC, it allows those linebackers to make plays. And Grudigood and Tatupu have made their share of tackles. Although the Cal offensive line has done a good job to control the clock like they have 30 minutes to 15 minutes for the Trojans. That's that's doing a good job up front. MacArthur left, McConan right. Second and seven. They'll run it again, and there's Brudegood again. Oh, a sandwich by linebackers to Tupu and Brudegood, and in the middle was Echimandu, and he went down like the peanut butter sandwich that you eat every day. I'll tell you what, Brudegood did a great job fighting off his his blocker and making the tackle. Today's first down line is brought to you by Net Zero High Speed Internet. Third down and five for Cal. It's a big, huge third down for him, Steve. Looks like they're going to make a, I don't know if this is a passing formation or not. Robertson back, being pressured, escapes pressure, fires right side, first down at the 20 yard line. Still up. Wow, how great about the toughness effort. of Jeff MacArthur? What a great second effort, Steve. Nice throw, nice throw. Robertson gives him a little added dimension there, a little quick on his feet, nimble, sidesteps a defender, comes up throwing, not a real fiery ball. Look at the hit. Tupu drills him. Grudegood misses him. Boy, that's a first. Tupu and Grudegood missed. Still can't believe it. Doing a nice job. Look at that. They just take their man out wide. Then McCarthy. The guy's great throwing second, him on the great throw. third effort. And and you're and you're criticizing his wobbly toss. It was complete for the first down, big third down. You're a perfectionist. Yeah. If you were married to Al McPherson, you would expect her to cook. I'm married to Audrey, though, and, and she's a great cook, so <laughs> that's why I love her. You're the best. I like to eat. <laughs> yes, you do. <laughs> Oh man. First down for California at their own 26 yard line. Two set off to the left side, including Jeff MacArthur. They'll run to the left guard side at Jamandu. Here's our accurate trivia question. We to ask four USC tailbacks have won the Heisman Trophy. Which three USC tailbacks and one Cal tailback finished second in the Heisman voting? Well, Chuck Muncie was the Cal guy, OJ Simpson. Did not win in 67, even though he deserved it. The honor went to UCLA's Gary B, but Anthony Davis and Ricky Bell, very deserving years in 74 and 76. The Cal Band. They have been heard today, part of 51,000 on hand at Memorial Coliseum. Rushes on, Robertson floats it up there, and a catch for a first down by McConan. What a toss by Robertson. Now that was a good one, quarterback Ramsey. What a great throw. Huh? <laughs> I mean, we heard it. And, and, and Steve, there's a difference in how the ball comes out from Rodgers to Robertson. Look at Robertson stand in the pocket, man. He was getting a ton of heat that time. Ball a little bit behind McConan. But credit Robertson. See how that ball kind of it lost. It's kind of a lofty ball right in there. Boy, I tell you what, Rucker, Patterson, man, he took some heat. Great catch by McConan. Robertson, four for five, completing his passes. Again, he'll drop back. Blitz is on. Alvin hits him. The ball's in the air. And it's batted down by USC. Now, that was a tip pass. That almost looked like a punt. And, and Steve, now this is the awareness you have to have playing quarterback. Pete Carroll runs a corner blitz with Marcel Alman, probably the fastest player on the defensive side of the ball. He drills Robertson in the back, plus he gets hammered by his own guy, Nolan Blunzer. Look at the jump ball, McConan does the right thing, Steve. Watch him go up, he's just gonna knock it to the ground. 
so no one's going to catch it. it. Yep, didn't even try to catch it. Knocked it to the ground. Nice Second play. Second and ten. Tatupu showing blitz. Here he comes. It's picked up. Robertson completes the pass. And a first down for California. Garrett Cross is playing a lot. Seeing a lot of time at tight end over Brandon Hall in this game. Jason Leach with the tackle. They like Garrett Cross and like how what a big target he is. 6'5, 235. Chico High, Butte Junior College, and Cross can run. That's what Jeff Tedford likes. He's a 4'7 guy, big body, and just really starting to tap into all that potential. Five catches for 21 yards. Echimandu back in as the tailback. And he'll get the call to carry. And Echimandu slashes forward for about five. And if he was not tripped up by Leach, it may have been another ten. Well, they've just done a good job staying with the run. They haven't gotten away from it. And that's probably the most important thing Cal has done today, Steve. They've, they haven't never wavered off their game plan today. I mean, Jeff Tedford calling a marvelous game. And the staff of coaches, George Cortez, and Jim Mahal, Mahalchek, the offensive line coach, I tell you, give credit where credit is due. Their offensive line doing a great job today. McConan, MacArthur, left side, Toler to the right. And the flag goes down. Reggie Robertson replacing the starter, Aaron Rodgers. See what the flag is doing. Before the snap. Full start offense. Five yards to the previous spot. Still second down. Making it second and ten. The NFL returns to Fox on Sunday with a doubleheader beginning with America's number one pregame show. JB Terry Howie and Jimmy get you ready for kickoff. Then the 49ers take on a Vikings team trying to stay undefeated. Then the Cowboys battle the Jets as Bill Parcells faces his old team for the first time. Coverage begins tomorrow at noon Eastern, 9 Pacific on Fox. Second down, 10 yards to go, California. USC showing a four-man rush. Rudigood now comes up. He will not rush. They hand the football off, and not much for Echimandu as Lofa Tutupu is there for the tackle. Lofa Tutupu, who came up with a big play in this game, an interception return of 36 yards for a touchdown to tie the contest at 21. Boy, that's a nice play by Tatupu. Steve sniffing out the ball carrier, reading the play. He's better than they thought. Oh, what a surprise. They needed help as, at middle linebacker, and a sophomore from Renton, Massachusetts, has just been, done a terrific job in the first four games this year, and a huge play in this contest. Third and ten. Robertson floats it left. Cross with the catch, but Bing won't let him go. Simmons and Bing both there for the tackle. You know, he might have gotten away from Bing, Steve, but but Champ Simmons was right there and finished him off. And that, that's just, just good tackling by the Trojans. They know what the down and distance was, third and long, and they're right there to, to make the big hit. And here comes a 51-yard field goal attempt. Fredrickson with a 51 yard field goal attempt for the lead. It is long enough and it is good. Wow. What a leg. Fredrickson for the lead from 51. The Bears have it over SC. Steve, a moment ago, Tyler Fredrickson just jams on a 51-yard kick, just smokes it through the uprights. Then he kicks off. He puts it out of bounds. USC now has the ball. As you said a moment ago, great field position at their 35. There's no future living in the past. Man. Wow. Leinert. Colbert. Very close to a first down. Let's see the mark. It is right at the first down marker, the 45-yard line. I believe they'll give it to him. Tosh Lupoy was applying the pressure on Matt Leiner, who's come back with a splendid second half. Take a look at Colbert down low. You say three-step job, Steve. You're not going to get a lot of sacks. You might get hit in the chin once in a while. Lupoy bringing it to Leiner, but Colbert coming down with a nice catch. He drilled that between two defenders, too. I thought Ryan Foltz might have a chance for a pick. 
If he did, he was gone. First down, USC. They'll throw it to Colbert again. And Colbert will just get three yards this time. Harrison Smith. Well, they went downfield, downfield on one drive like three in a row. Now they're going back to the short three-step drop. Let the wide receiver Williams or Colbert break free. But they're throwing it now. Why? Look at his numbers. First half, second half, five of 15. First half, second half, 11 of 14. And considerable, considerable attention given to Mike Williams with Liner throwing the ball. They've gotten the ball to Mike Williams quite a bit more. Williams this time lining up in the slot. Keep feeding him. Second and seven. This time Williams cannot hold on because of the defense applied by Donnie McCleskey, number 21, you know the strong safety. You know, Steve, now I'm sorry to cut you off there. The, the anticipation now of getting the ball to Mike Williams, we feel it here. The fans feel it. The SC coaches, I know, sit there and someone Norm Chow has someone charting how many touches Mike Williams is getting. And when he's not getting enough, he gets a tap on the on the shoulder. You've got to get the ball. As the quarterback, you can't be so determined. If he's not open, you've got to read him. Look at the crowd here at Cal. They are rocking Memorial Coliseum. 51,000 strong into it. Third and seven. Liner downfield. There's a flag down. A first down catch by Williams, but this might be coming back because Leiner had so much time, and that usually is offensive holding, and it is. Be a hold, and, and boy, did Mike Williams shield the defender away as best you can, Steve. Leiner just has confidence, as anyone would, throw into a big target like that. Let's see if we can see the hold. Pete Carroll looking a little bit in disbelief. Gordon Reese with the call. Holding, offense. 10 yards from the previous spot. Still third down. So Jeff Tedford on the other side will have him. Keep an eye on this side over here. Oh, Winston Justice, I believe, Steve, right there. Had his big meat hook around the defensive end. Flag came out. Third down, 17 now. Williams in the slot. They'll double him. Liner downfield. Captain California, Matt Giordano. Matt Giordano, Steve. Look at the crowd going crazy. Man, they're excited here up in Berkeley. And I got to tell you, they got a lot to be excited about. Matt Liner making a tough throw down the middle, trying to get the ball to Colbert. California trying to pull a stunning upset in Berkeley. Matt Giordano's interception has given Cal hope. They have a 24-21 lead. What did Matt Leonard see? Leonard, Leonard's trying to take the safety out, Steve, with his eyes. He's trying to keep it this way. Kerry Colbert right down the middle of the field. Giordano makes the pick. Great defensive stand that time by the Cal Bears with an interception. Now Echimondo, and he is straightened up by Patterson and Cody and Chatuku. Echimondo is going to have one big ice bag on his body after the game. You know what he earned? It. He's going to sit in that locker room knowing he did everything he did good to help his team win this game. He's played awfully tough. 27 rushes, 125 yards for Echimondo, and they've stayed consistent in trying to give him the ball. And he's gotten his yards again, the first rusher against his SC defense in 16 games to rush for over 100 yards. Play action. Robertson. Cross. What a catch. Boy, if I was a tight end, I would love to play for Jeff Tedford's offense because you know you're going to get the rock, Steve. He, boy, he teaches good football, inclusive of the tight ends. Cross coming down with a great catch, and we're seeing the makings of a superstar, folks. Garrett Cross, 6'5", 235-pound junior. J.C. transfer, Cross seven catches, 40 yards. Touchdown earlier today, but he is a big target.
feet that moves down the field awfully well. Nice hands as well. 6'5", 235, Echimandu now back in the game on first down. They're in Fredrickson field goal range. Bing, though, with a stick. Ooh, what a tackle by Darnell Bing. Our Bank of America higher standards. Jeff Tedford knows how to get Cal fired up. I mean, three wins versus ranked teams last year. All on the road. First time Cal beat three ranked teams in one year since 1950. They have not beaten a team as highly ranked as USC since 1951. Jeff Tedford wasn't even born then. And the, the opponent was number three Stanford in the big game. The final score was 20 to seven. Here it's number three USC down by three. Robertson to throw and crosses his target again. Did he fumble the football or is it incomplete. It's an incomplete pass. Cross never had possession. Oh, they dodge a bullet there because it looked like cross. He got hammered too. Steve comes off the ball sits down. Darnell Bing lights him up. Man, that's a big hit. Yeah, he never had possession. Robertson, three step drop, ball comes out. Uh, well, boy, I tell you what. I like the call by the officials. You know, I think it's a correct call. Okay. On slow motion, it looked like he actually caught it, but in real motion, normal motion, didn't come down with it. Five wides. Robertson runs inside to McConan and McConan gets to the 30 yard line fourth down. They're going to bring on Fredrickson for the field goal. Fredrickson hit from 51 earlier, but Cal quarterbacks Rogers and Robertson combined have thrown for over 300 yards for Jeff Tedford. 26 for 36 in this game. Melvin Simmons being helped off the field. He was in on the blitz. All right. So Fredrickson hammered a 51 yarder earlier, Steve. I think you have to say, hey, look, bring bring the big kid out again. And USC's got to go for the touchdown. They can't go for the tie and search for overtime. Although they're talking about it right now. Jeff Tedford still talking to Reggie Robertson. Gave him a little direction as he comes out to set up. I believe he's going to call a timeout, Steve. Yeah, because sure the clock's enough. winding down. It's down to four seconds right now. Now they call time. Good move, good decision. And why? Well, because you're going to actually think about this one. You may end up, if you go for it and you make it on fourth down, it might be out of reach. College football Saturday on Fox Sports Net is brought to you by Kyocera, the new value frontier, by Nissan and your local Nissan dealer, by MetLife. Have you met life today? By Napa Auto Care Centers. Napa, get the good stuff. And today's first down line is brought to you by Net Zero High Speed Internet. Surf the web up to five times faster. Here in the East Bay of Northern California, the Golden Bears trying to add to the lead 24 21. And Tyler Fredrickson comes on for a 46 yard field goal attempt. He earlier hit one from 51. Flag goes down. Did someone line up in the neutral zone or is it against California? This penalty will go against Cal, it appears. Five yards to the previous spot. So that will make it a 51 yard field goal. Fredrickson hit from 51 and now he looks to the sideline at his coach Jeff Tedford and Tedford says kick it. Give us three more. Wow. Man costly penalty. Costly penalty. Well he had plenty of leg for the last one from 51. USC will come hard from the left side. And they pull it. And it's blocked. Territory. Sean Cody got high and knocked it down. I'll tell, you, I'll tell you the reason why Sean Cody, Steve, got in there. Watch what they do right before the snap of the ball. They get a big push right there. Literally, Lofa Tatupu gets behind Sean Cody and he's pushing a big apple cart. Look at that right there. Yeah, they're getting a huge push. Cody there gets that big right arm up in the air. Well, you talk about 
his being so valuable to that Trojan defense coming out with what appeared might be the play of the game. And I saw Pete Carroll grab Matt Leiter before he went out to the field. Probably just said, hey, don't try to win it yourself. Take what they give you. And they give him this one, but Mike Williams was open, but Leiter had so much pressure in his face yeah. that he had to release the ball before he wanted to. But, Rams, I wanted to ask you, USC has been so dominant during its win streak, they haven't had to play in crunch time. No. I mean, their last game decided by less than 11 points was last year against California. Yep. And Carson Palmer led them to a brilliant 30-28 to comeback when they were down 21-3. to And as you said, Steve, that was really kind of the, the catalyst game for them that, that gave them that confidence to go on and have a great season. Three receivers left side. Liner throws it up for Justin Wyatt. It's incomplete. Third down and 10 yards to go with 446 remaining. Wow. And, and if you're the SC right now, Steve, third and 10, this could be two down territory. This could be, you, you might want to take, I know Pete with Carroll Tom Malone, and Norm Chow with Tom Malone. I, I just think you have to really play the field position game. Put your best asset on the field, it's the defense, right? So have faith that you can take two shots right now and they, try to get a first down. They brought in Greg Gunther, the six foot eight inch tight end. He's lined up to the left side. I would double team Mike Williams, I know that. He's in the right, Colbert went in motion. They'll run the football, Herschel Dennis, Flashes to the 45 yard line gets close to a first down, but we'll still need an additional two yards See that's why they ran the ball there. They said okay look we're gonna take two downs to get the first We're not gonna panic on third down and ten. We're not gonna try and throw the ball down the field They did a great job right there. They pick up seven Seven yards it appears Fourth and three Kia Sara, smartphone call of the day. Here it comes. A fourth down and three from Pete Carroll. Williams goes to the right. McCleskey will single cover him. And, and timeout is called. Okay, so gain of six on a running play. Nice call by Norm Chow. I liked it. Give yourself a shot on fourth down. 4-0-3 left in this game when we come back. Jeff Tedford counting on his defense, led yeah. by coordinator Bob Gregory. He's done a marvelous job holding USC to 21. Pete Carroll counting on Matt Liner on a critical fourth and three. What's your call? Well, first of all, hats off to both coaches for, for playing a great game because it's really been a strategic game, Steve, and both of them have made gutsy calls. I think you put Mike Williams in the slot. You give him a two-way go. You give him an option route. Actually, he's not going to be in the slot, although they may motion outside of him. Williams right there. Keep an eye on number one. Yeah, the motion uh, outside. Dennis. Someone pulled too soon, and a flag will be thrown. It looked like the left guard or left tackle pulled too soon okay. so from they the did, line of scrimmage. They did what I thought they would do. That penalty really hurts, but Gordon Reese will call it. Start. Offense. Five yards from the previous Boy, line. man, the jumping down. around. But watch, they give Williams a two-way go, Steve, either in or out. And it looked like he was probably going to work out. He gets a nice push off off the defender. That would have been the first down they were looking for. You are still not punting. Oh, no, you can't. You, you, you're unsure. Four minutes left. You, you're not sure you're going to get the ball back. Pete Carroll has to play the law of averages. Norm Chow, you got to go for it here. Go for the jugular, but then know you're going to, you still have a great defense. You may get the ball back another time. Each team has two timeouts left. Fourth down now. Nine yards to go. Liner fires. Williams, what a catch. First down in between three defenders. What a catch. What a catch. Good throw, too. Well, I'm telling you what, the guy. It, it, it's just amazing. He's got guys draped all over him, Steve. Everyone knows where he's going with the football. Dante Hughes, young freshman working against the sophomore. Take a look at Pete Carroll. You know what? Yeah, man. First down. His hero is Keyshawn Johnson. What was his statement? Get me the darn ball. And that was one of those, I don't care if I'm open, throw it to me, I'll catch it. 
first down USC inside the 20 the 35 yard line Miner checking off the last scrimmage. He's going deep and zone Williams incomplete broken up beautifully by Harrison Smith the sophomore who's making the start because of the injury suffered by that's a nice play Tim Mixon. Tim Mixon. Yeah Tim Mixon the one that got hurt but liner puts the ball up in the air Steve surprise he's going to number one I'm not Harrison Smith trying to look in sees the nice route reading that time just throwing a fade up the sideline makes a great play knocking the ball out of bounds Williams will come to the right carry Colbert the senior to the left They're giving Williams a lot of room a lot of green territory out to the right Williams pulls his way past the 25. Oh, he is a load. Steve, it's the yards he gets after the catch. After contact. Yeah. And, and not so much run after catch, it's run after contact because people just bounce off him. Look at little shake, little shake. They don't even touch him. Takes four guys, five guys, six guys, bring him down. <laughs> That's why he is one of the most talented receivers in the country. Five of those six catches yep. in the second half, 96 yards, doesn't have a touchdown, even though he has 18 in his career. Seven 100 yard receiving games. Two timeouts for USC and Cal. Quarterback sneak, I believe Leinert has it. He only needed about two feet, and he is six feet five inches tall and got all six five down. And it's a first down for USC with two minutes and 41 seconds remaining in this football game. And the clock will continue running as soon as they set the chains. Gordon Reese, wind the clock right now, 241 and running. Both of these teams playing on fumes because it has oh, been yeah. furious since the very start. Powell's defense doing a remarkable job. Now USC. Well, right now, Steve, you're in field goal territory. Okay, so you don't want to take a sack, whatever you do. Herschel Dennis to the 18 yard line. Probably why they ran the ball. Keep the defense honest. Herschel Dennis may spring one, but at least you're in position to, to kick a field goal if, if you so choose to tie it up. Now, of course, they don't want to go into overtime, they want to punch it in for the score. 159 left. They got plenty of time still. Two timeouts, USC. Gain of three by Dennis. Second down, seven. Williams right, Colbert's in the slot. Wyatt wide to the left side. Again, Herschel Dennis cuts back to the 15, to the 14. He needs to get to the 12 for a first down. Dante Hughes on the tackle. Looks like they're setting up for a kick right now, Steve, if I'm not mistaken. And that's probably because they've run two ball, two, two running plays in a row. Now bringing in Dominic Bird, who's had a big game at tight end. He's caught two balls. But remember their last overtime game. They lost at Washington State last year, 30 to yeah. 27. Yeah. That cost them the Pac-10 title. It sure did. They've got to be aggressive. Kerry Colbert one on one down at the bottom of the screen. Love it. Well, they'll send him in motion. And they run Dennis and they will be forced to go for the field goal. It yep. just did not work as Cal's defense, led by Monte Parson, smelled that out from the get go. Well, now you put a lot of pressure on your kicker, Ryan Colleen. And, and Steve, even though he's been pretty good from close in, he's. Four or five on the year, two and two between the 20 and the 29. Career long, 48. 33 yard field goal for the tie. Timeout, Cal. Did you remember last year at the Washington State game, a missed extra point that yep. would have given. USC an early victory. They were forced to go to overtime. They would lose it in overtime. So the kicking game so important 
and it's Ryan Colleen's turn to come through. Now from this distance he's usually very good. He has not missed an extra point this year. He was four for five on his field goal coming into this contest. Yep. Our college football triple header presented by Kiyosera continues on Fox Sports Net coming up next with a Pac-10 showdown as Arizona State battles Oregon State. It's all coming up after our game here on Fox Sports Net. Check local listings at foxsports.com for the start time in your area. You know what? When they had Colbert single coverage, didn't that look, didn't that look, right, that looked really good? Oh man, just, just they sent him in motion back to the. Well, they got a, you know, they got a strategy. It was a run play, so you, you wanted that blocker to seal the end. Colbert's done a nice job blocking all game. A lot of pressure on Colleen here, Steve, and the place is rocking. Colleen from 33. With 16 seconds left. What a game in Berkeley. Nice job. A lot of pressure that time on Colleen. He felt it too. The crowd was into it. Stayed down, stayed focused. Kept his head down. Steve drilled it right through the uprights. That's a big kick. And you know what? That was a heck of a drive. Converting that fourth down. Man. Pete Carroll. Knows it's, not over. Knows it's not over. Knows it's not over. But you know what? It has been so tough for top teams this year. Look what Ohio yeah. State has been through twice oh. at home in Columbus, almost losing to North Carolina State. Well, when you play inspired football, anything can happen. Cal's played inspired the whole day. USC started off a little slow, but their defense got them right back in the game. Tatupu with the big score and the interception. In fact, Lofa Tatupu, Steve. Going off the field, looks as though he hurt his ankle. That's a big loss because he's a marvelous middle linebacker. It doesn't look good. A nice pack on down. his leg. Heading off the field on crutches. That's not a good sign for Tatupu. USC will now kick off. James Bathia is the return man. Al has had a lot of incredible pickup returns in the history of the school, most notably the big game, the play. But this one's going out of bounds with 12 seconds left. Boy, and Steve, you know something? If you're coaching Bathia, when you watch the film, you're going to say, you know something? 16 seconds left, kickoff comes to you. You're six yards deep in the end zone. Take a knee. We'll take the ball to 20. We'll get out. Instead, they get the ball. He brings it out. He gets to the 12-yard line. Now, if there's a fumble or anything, boy, I'll tell you what, and there has been a fumble snap today. Mike Patterson jumped all over it for the Trojans. All it takes is one play. Spin you around like a top. Tied at 24. Number three, USC battling California. And California looks to go to one knee and just say, let's go to overtime and start things from square Fair one. Enough. Fair enough. What a game we've seen. Pete Carroll with a smile on his face. Let's play, guys. Let's keep going. Well, Jeff Jedford has done a remarkable job in coming back. They went to Illinois. They played five games this year, and they came in prepared, and they have taken the number three team in the nation to overtime. And the overtime rules are this. Teams alternate possessions beginning at the opponent's 25-yard line. A two-point conversion must, must be tried beginning in the third overtime. The first team leading off, leading after a completed round wins. The old overtime rules and and what teams usually elect to do if they win the toss they usually elect defense first to see what they have to beat so Jeff Tedford's overtime record three wins two losses actually that's Cal's overtime record last OT game they lost to Stanford in 2000 so Jeff Tedford had nothing to do with it USC and USC, three wins, four losses, one and one with Pete Carroll. We have been uh, chronicling his loss at Washington State. That was the one that cost him 
the outright Pac-10 championship last year, losing in Pullman. Yep. Now remember, they'll go off for the coin toss. All right, guys. Pretty important. Who's my spokesman for USC now? Number eight. Reese. Now remember, whoever wins the coin toss cannot be first. Funny guy. He said whoever wins can't defer. They always defer. It is a tail. You have won the top. They're going to play defense. Which they, area or which they you want to play defense. defense? Okay. You put your back over here. Then. They want to play defense. Gordon Reese was pulling their leg there, Steve. California <laughs> won the toss. Elected to play defense. USC is on offense at the south end of the stadium. We've got a time out of the field. Overtime here in Berkeley. 24-24 USC and Cal. We are ready for the start of overtime in Berkeley. USC and California tied at 24. Matt Leinert at the controls gives it to Herschel. Dennis, big hole! Dennis to the 10, to the 5! Wow, big gaping hole. Herschel Dennis and he took full advantage of it Steve he took it right up the a gap nice push that time by the offensive line wants to get a nice block double here seal right around nice work Herschel Dennis first play of overtime now ah, they doubled Lorenzo Alexander the big defensive tackle who's played a great game defensively against the run Let's see if they go right back to Herschel Dennis. They send Williams in motion left right. They'll run Dennis. He slams the middle. He is to the three. Fumble. He fumbles the football and Cal has it. Oh, Steve. Oh, Steve. Well, you know what though? Again, remember what Pete Carroll has in his back pocket. He's got one of the best defenses in America to shut down Cal, so it's not over. But watch the hit. Oh, man. Wow, number 58. Brian Trembley, Steve. Watch Trembley get a blow, and the ball comes out. Josh Beckham, 57 as well. Guess who's on the ball? Wendell Hunter. They call Tremblay the ox, and he hit him like one. I mean, he got slammed I'd, into, and Dennis had no chance. I'd call him the undertaker because he just he, he just put the hit of a lifetime on Herschel Dennis. Man. Well, Cal will be just setting up for Tyler Fredrickson. They'd love to get the touchdown to seal it, but they just want points to win it. And here goes Achimondu inside the 15-yard line. What a game for Achimondu. Achimondu, Steve, really has had a tremendous game. He has been the heart and soul of that Cal offense. And again, they just grind it. They get some great blocks up the front. Simmons gets tied up with his man, not looking at the ball carrier. Achimondu threw for a big game. 138 yards on 29 carries for Adam Ginobili Echimandu. Tyler Fredrickson getting ready. His field goal may win it. And they're gonna they're gonna kick it right now, Steve. They just went to the middle of the football they're field and sat right down. Now. Why not? Jeff Tedford. USC will bring their big guys in. That means 6'8", Greg Gunther. They got great push last time and blocked the field goal. But remember, this is this is smart football, Steve. If somebody had their last field goal attempt blocked, it could happen again. They could recover it. This is only third down, right? It's only second down. From 30 yards out. Fredrickson. Blocked. USC has it. What a game. Sick. So is Tyler Fredrickson. Boy, oh boy, USC as big a defensive stand. Two blocked field goals, one in regulation. This one to tie it 
right back up in overtime. All Cal has to do is put it through the uprights. Greg Gunther, Steve, number 44. Gunther, 6'8". A backup tight end went about eight feet. Watch 44. This is as good a shot as you can get. Watch him climb the ladder. You said he played basketball. Man. One of the top rebounders for Henry Bibby's team. And he got up to rebound that one and block the shot just like he does in wow. hoops. What a play. <laughs> and this a, game just goes play. back and forth. We'll be right back. USC just won the coin toss as we head to the second overtime and they have decided to play defense first putting California on offense. Our college football triple header presented by Kiyosera continues on Fox Sports Net coming up next with a Pac-10 showdown as Arizona State battles Oregon State. It's all coming up after our game here on Fox Sports Net. Check local listings at foxsports.com for the start time in your area. Seven turnovers and three block kicks today and this one the biggest of the day without question Greg Gunther Steve just skied up in the air and he took it off the forearm so he was he was up above the rim for sure Jeff Tedford walked over to Tyler Fredericks and said what happened can't you get the ball up and, and you know I gotta tell you give credit where credit is due this game has been hard fought Carroll over there talking to Darnell Bing right there, a strong safety. But Jeff Tedford and Pete Carroll really put two good teams out on the field today. They played with all heart, and it comes down to the second overtime. Aaron Rodgers was the quarterback in the first half. Reggie Rodgers has been the quarterback in the second half. After Rogers' interception was picked off and returned for a touchdown, Echimandu burrows the middle, gains about three yards. Robertson stays in the game, number 17, the quarterback. He took over after Rogers' pass was picked off by Lofa Tutupo and run back for a touchdown. Tutupo not playing anymore. We walk, watched him walk off with crutches, injuring his right leg. So Tutupu not in there at middle linebacker. It is Daniel Urquhart. Echimond has been the heavy carrier today for the Cal Bears. And he tries it again, and there's the muscle of the middle by USC, led by Sean Cody and Mike Patterson. Yeah, you'd like to get a first down here, Steve. If you're Cal, they had a big run by Echimondu in the first play of the first series of overtime by Cal, but right now, you said it a moment ago, both teams exhausted. They've, they've played awfully hard, but this is where you got to reach down deep. Big third down for Cal. And the Cal offensive line has done a great job all day. Do you stay on the ground? I think so. I think you keep it on the ground here. MacArthur is wide left. McConan in the slot left. Robertson, play action, wants to go. End zone! a big throw and a big catch. Boy, the Cal faithful, Steve. They haven't seen a team play this well in some time. Reggie Robinson, little play action, comes back. They change the launch location. McCona just running a post. Nice throw, nice catch. Jonathan McConan, big game for him too today. Wow, extra points crucial here. Fredrickson pushes it through for a seven point lead in overtime. A full on blitz by USC. Well, USC brought the heat, Steve. The offensive line did a great job picking up everybody blitzing. Look at the throw, that's a strike. Conan beating Darnell Bing. Man. Now, the Cal defense. Robertson's got him fired up. I'll tell you, great usage of two quarterbacks today by Jeff Tedford as well. But right now, the Cal defense appeared to have made the big play in the first overtime by getting a fumble out of Herschel Dennis. But right now, the crowd's back into it, Steve, causing problems. Mike Williams went to the wrong side. Now he goes from right back to left. 
12 seconds left in the play clock. Liner to Colbert. Colbert has room. Williams threw a good block for him, and they get the first down past the 15-yard line. That's why Colbert was shouting at him. Wrong side. Get over here and block for me. No kid. And USC has got to score now. And they got to convert the extra point. Again, the pass behind the line of scrimmage allows Williams to get down the field and make a block. First down, USC. Williams left, Colbert right. Dennis, big hole left side, now cuts up the oh, middle, man. and he gets to the 11-yard line, possibly the 10, for a gain of four. Brian Tremblay again, Steve, with a huge hit, huge hit on Herschel Dennis. Herschel Dennis, he will hang on the ball to Jeff Tedford saying, get the crowd into it, get into it. Receiver. Williams comes to the left side. Slot right. Over the middle it goes. USC will score. Kerry Colbert. Boy, great call that time. Now, the extra point's crucial. Got to come in, knock it through. That's not a gimme. Watch Kerry Colbert. Right here, Steve. He ends up coming underneath. Oh, he put a nice move on Wendell Hunter. And then just a great effort. Look at him. Look at the effort. Kerry Colbert. That's what I love about college football. Now for the point after touchdown to tie. One more overtime we go. 31-31. Cal against number three, USC. What effort by both sides. Colbert lunging for the end zone. Welcome back inside our college football Saturday studios. Kellen Winslow, Billy Ray Smith. Wait, Kellen, this is how Billy Ray's going right now. Wow! Oh, oh, <laughs> no. He thought Arkansas was special. What is going to happen in the third overtime? Well, if you go into the third overtime, you got to go for the two points. Billy Ray, who has the advantage? It's got to be USC. It's called Mike Williams, six foot five, 230 pounds. No way, Cal. Listen to that home crowd. They're going nuts up there at Berkeley. <laughs> Steve Fiziok, Tom Ramsey, this is exactly what we thought we would see today from number three USC in Berkeley, isn't it, boys? Oh, you bet. When number oh, yeah. three USC comes in here, I think everybody was a two touchdown to three touchdown Trojan victory. But Cal played inspired, had a 21-7 lead. Cal won the coin toss. They, de they decided to play defense, so USC has it first. Two receivers left side in Williams and Colbert. They'll throw it out to Colbert. Colbert to the 20-yard line, a gain of five in the play. Second down, five yards to go. Harrison Smith in the tackle. You, you know, you got to ride the hot hand, right? You got to ride Colbert right now. He's as Eight hot catches. as they get. Oh, man. Eight catches for 80 yards for Kerry Colbert. Brandon Hancock will come out of the game. Although I tell you what, I won't argue with what Kellen Winslow said. You got number one, Mike Williams, 6'5", 230-pounder. No one's proved to bring him down yet. Get him the ball. Remember, every six times he touches it, he scores. They'll double him with Donnie McCleskey. Liner. <clears throat> he had to throw early, and I believe Liner was roughed by Lorenzo yep. Alexander. Yep. That's what they're going to call, Steve. Oh, no. Goes against USC. Wow. Oh, and you said Alexander just humbled yep. Liner. Just humbled him. The call is going to go against the Trojan. This is what's costly in overtime. If there is a holding penalty, man, it sets you back. Ten yards is a huge march against you. Holding offense, 10 yards from the previous spot, still second down. So the replay second down, taking 10 yards back. Second and 15, look at 78 what? offense. 
right here inside, and he's going to try to tackle Lorenzo Bloody Alexander. Bandit, but watch, watch. Oh, Alexander just puts the hammer on Leonard. Oh. All right, Steve. Mike Williams up top. He's up top, one on one up here. Actually, they got a double team on him. Leonard rolls away from pressure. Now he will run. And he will get back to near the original line of scrimmage to the 26 yard line. He'll need 11 yards for the first down. Is this a time where you throw to the middle of the field instead of a field goal? And Liner right now cramping. Steve, he's got. He's slowed a little bit. He's laid it out all game today. Third and 11. Steve Sarkisian, quarterback coach, giving it the play. A little pat to go along with it. Now remember, you want to get a significant chunk here if you got to bring your field goal unit on. So they'll call time. Leinert is hurt. Uh, he's got cramps. All those guys giving it up. Jacob Rogers. Looks, looks like Williams said, how you feeling, Matt? Matt said, not good. Mike turned right to the official, called the timeout. Got him on the ground trying to stretch out his cramps, get hydrated. Heck, I'm cramping too, man. <laughs> You've been broadcasting your third overtime where our college football triple header presented by Kiyosara continues on Fox Sports Net. Coming up next with a Pac-10 showdown as Arizona State battles Oregon State. It's all coming up after our game here on Fox Sports Net. Check local listings at foxsports.com for the start time in your area. We are in the third overtime. Here in Berkeley, California, that Oregon State, Arizona State game just kicked off, so we will keep you updated on that contest. Oh, we can just roll over to that game. No one's really interested in this one, right? It's like the Heidi Bowl part two. No, don't do that. Don't even talk about it, Tom. Tied at 31 in the Man. third overtime, Cal. This is the game you don't want to have in. Nope. Let's keep playing. What Mississippi player, seven overtime game last year. It's possible. Third and 11, liner. Over the middle, Herschel Dennis. Dragged down at the 22 yard line. Look at Dennis, how he tried to get back to the middle of the field. Yeah, yeah. Heads up play. Heads up play by Dennis. Knowing where he was on the football field, Steve, knowing where he wanted to get to for his kicker, give him the best opportunity to put it through the upright. Smart, smart play. Ryan Colleen, the crowd chanting, block that kick. 39 yards out for Colleen. Missed it. score but they've had two field goals blocked one in regulation one in OT the first OT that could have won it Steve Colleen lets it kind of slide off his foot pushed it right he's been very good from that distance in fact he hasn't missed from that distance this year and right there just pushed it right another golden opportunity for the Cal Bears Steve third overtime they've had opportunities Jeff Tedford said coming in you, if you want to win the game, you can't squander them. Reggie Robertson. Echimandu, big hole. Echimandu gains four to the 21, and they're staying right at the middle of that field. Matt Grudegood on the tackle. And remember, they had a big run out of Echimandu in the first overtime. They got down, they ran a second down play, got the ball into the middle of the field. Went for the field goal and it was blocked and recovered by SC. So, well, you got to do, you, if you're Cal, you want to punch it in here to end it. But right now, you're going against the teeth of one of the best defenses in America. McConan goes motion. They'll run at Chimandu again. And Adam Chinobi gets to the 20 yard line and then is pushed back. Do you run it again? I do. And USC has blocked yeah. two field goals by California tonight. Yeah. You know what? 
You know what, Steve? I run it again. I run it again. Last time you said run it again, they threw it over the middle and scored the touchdown. To That's true. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I know. No kid. They call timeout. Cal calls timeout. They See, have they a third can't decide down right now. The field goal attempt will be from 37 yards out. They're really right in the middle of the field. Tell you. It has been a wonderful game. California got off to a 21-7 lead. They took that to halftime. USC did not score in their first possession in the second half. And on their second possession, they had their best drive of the game. Three terrific catches. One by Dominic Bird, two by Kerry Colbert. And they scored the touchdown. And Lofa Tutuba would intercept the pass and go in for the touchdown to tie it. And there's the overtime block by Greg Gunther, Steve. Number 44, look at him get up in the air. Oh my God! He already goes six eight, but he was up another four feet. He was way up there. He was way, way up there. Over. The air up there. You and I haven't. We. It's kind of light up there. Well, I haven't got up that high. Tyler Fredericks in there. Everybody's pumping him up, giving him confidence. There's Gunther. Greg Gunther, six feet eight inches yeah. tall, had a block earlier in this game. Sean Cody at six four had a block earlier. Wow. What a game. What a game. You know what? I think they're going to throw it now. Before I thought they were going to before I thought they were going to run it. Now I think they're going to pass it. I do think they're going to pass it. Okay. Because if you get a first down, you, you've just increased your odds a great deal. Third and five. They'll run it. Etchemandu, nothing, but he does have them squared up for a field goal of looks like 38 yards out now because he lost a yard in the play. Okay. So here comes Gunther back out on the field, Steve. Number 44, the big tight end. The key blocker in the artillery for the block unit for USC. He'll line up six yards deep and take a run and leap at it. Do they call timeout? No, they're going to let him kick it. Fredrickson from 38 yards out for a Cal victory. It is good, and Cal pulls the upset. saying so long everybody thanks for watching exclusive coverage of Pac-10 football on Fox Sports Net stay tuned for more Pac-10 action as Arizona State takes on Oregon State coming up next have a great evening everyone it ends up Tyler Fredrickson the hero in the end somebody call my heart surgeon because this is just entirely too much for me to take you know I'm not emotionally tied to these teams Billy Ray like I am to Miami but right. this was so exciting so exciting two words Adam Chinobi at Chimandu. That's all oh, I have to good. say. Yeah, I, I'm glad I got that out. And 147 yards for him. Not one single rusher rushed for over 100 last year against USC. Great you game. haven't missed anything in the second game of our doubleheader. Arizona State and Oregon State and Corvallis. We will take a timeout. We'll come back here. Then we'll get you back out to game two of the doubleheader. Congratulations to the Bears. Oh, my goodness.
highlights. Mike Williams and the Trojans looking for their 12th straight victory first quarter. Aaron Rodgers. The JC transfer keeping it and three yards. He's in 7 0 Cal. We're just getting started. Later in the quarter, SC third and 10 from the 27. Matt Leinart play action to Dominic Bird down the middle. Nice pitch and catch. First touchdown for Bird. We're tied at seven. Liner, 19 to 37, 277 yards passing. Second quarter, it's Rodgers for Burl Toller. 23 yards and in. Callup 21-7 at the break, but here comes USC. Aaron Rodgers flushed, picked by Lofa Tatupu. And I know you're wondering, he is in fact the son of former Trojan great Mosey Tatupu. Trojans get 14 points in 10 seconds. We're tied at 21. Five minutes to go in the fourth now, 24-21. Cal Tyler Fredrickson's field goal blocked by Sean Cody. So the Trojans take over. Fourth and nine, they're going for it. Oh, and Leiter finds Williams. That's big. Trojans with a first down in Cal territory. That sets up Ryan Killeen, 33 yards away and true Bonus football in Berkeley. First overtime. Herschel Dennis. Herschel up the middle. Oh, he lost the pigskin. Coughs it up. Cal takes over. A golden opportunity for the Golden Bears to win in the first OT. Fredrickson, 29 yards away, and it's blocked. Another block for the Trojans. So they escape for now. Second overtime. Cal. Reggie Robertson into quarterback. To Jonathan Mackinnon. 20-yard connection, it's 31-24. Trojans come back, second and six from the 11. Leinert, not for Williams. This time it's Kerry Colbert, and he is in. Nice stretch, we go to a third overtime period. After a USC field goal miss, Cal can win it, and Fredrickson this time, it's not blocked. It's through from 38 yards away. The Bears stun USC, 34-31 in triple overtime. Cal now 4-2 all-time in overtime games. It's the program's first win over a top-five opponent since the Bears beat USC November of 1975. Adim Chinobe Echimandu, the first to rush for more than 100 yards against the Trojans in 16 games.